stop being loud damn you seem good at that game yeah santa claus is gonna drop trout on your roof I'll tell you that much <laughs> duplicitous by nature i guess naturally deceptive Does anyone need to get caught up on what's going on in Forgotten City? We ended we ended last week with such a high note. I lost saw when you got D's bow. Uh okay. That was uh two sessions ago. So um I have since gotten another bow. <laughs> so I have a I have a golden bow and I have a normal bow now. Um God, there's so much going on. We uh we went through a dungeon and um, learned some things about, I don't know, oh God. There was so much stuff going on. Oh, we, we talked to the philosopher, dude. We know now that um, this this uh, entire uh, city is actually the underworld. Spoilers, I'm sorry. I should have I should have done a spoiler warning before I said that. But, um, this is all under the domain of Pluto. And, uh, everyone here basically is dead. Turns, um, no, non-gold into yes gold. It's more like a, a organic material. It's only mark. it only works on organic material. So I gotta go talk to, um, what's his face? Georges. Georges the second. Because uh, I got him the flower, you see. I'm pretty sure I asked him to become the mayor or some some business. <laughs> this is what, what happens when I take breaks. I have to talk to Georges Galerius. Smile on you, brother. I saw you slide down that rope before. Very impressive, and strange too, since that device you use is exact. There I was. Anyway, I'm. What do you need? Well. I've been trying to get the is I already I already got it for you. I already have, I have an identical flower. Really? You already have it. Well, that's impressive. You're just a step ahead, aren't you? This is going to make her so happy. Go oh, Dear, sorry. I mean, now I just have to figure out how to give it to her. What I really want to do is walk up to her, give her the flower and confess I've been madly in love with her since the moment we met. But on the other hand, I can't shake the feeling that the consequences could be terrible. Who? What's worse? Uh, what's the worst thing that could happen? You mean aside from her execution? You see, Equitia is a Vestal priestess, meaning she's taken a vow of chastity, the breaking of which would be an extremely serious affront to the gods and a capital offense. Even if she was just suspected of being unchaste, it could lead to her execution. Unchaste Vestals get buried alive. Oh, and I'd get flogged to death for good measure. But at the same time, she's just so kind and graceful, and I feel so much love for her that if I don't tell her, it'll burn a hole in my chest. I don't know what to do. What do you think? Probably you don't. Do? Yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll tell her yes. I it, can admire her discreetly from afar. Uh, yeah, go ahead, tell her. Hmm. 
Now that I hear you say that out loud, I hear how crazy it is. I think maybe I need to be a bit more cautious. What I need is a go-between. Someone who can tell her how I feel and find out how she feels without risking her life. What do you say? Do you think you could help me one more time? All right. Wonderful. Now, all I need you to do is give her the flower and tell her it's from a secret admirer. Tell her I'll keep my distance and that I just want her to know that she's loved. Sure. Thank you. Come back as quick as you can and tell me what she says. We're making him so good without being a cardboard cutout. What, Mr. Clean? <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Real pog moment over here. What? Don't you just love springtime? Um, I kind of forget who Celestia is. Is she the one that's being tied up? She's not the one being tied up, is she? I, I, like, I've, I've forgotten a lot of details. I do remember that I, I know who is um, making this guy's life miserable. Steve. Ah, Minecraft Steve. Salve. And welcome to a little community. My name's impossible Priestess, to pronounce White for Rose most kind people. voice. So you can yeah, just call okay. me Virgil. Uh Well, Maliolis is talking about loosening some of the Anything I can do to change that. My vote isn't for sale. Um, but I know who uh some people I mean which me and I'm I think so good the first is to leave the second is to remove the ruler from power and it seems leaving may not be an up I hear you I'm glad it's best if I say no more but didn't I uh, wasn't I tasked to find out who was giving him a hard time is she the one the with you the one with you who found out that you are in the underworld? I think so. He has a teal shirt, yeah. Salve. Salve, friend. Isn't is it Rufius that is giving uh Rufius? Are you the one threatening Virgil? No idea what you're talking about. I know it was you. I found an incomplete letter to him in your quarters. Yes, so what? What? Uh, I just wanted to know. Yeah. Uh, I don't want to, like, you know, put him in a position where he's going to want to fight me. Uh, we got a couple of the tablets. That we can insert. Did I not rescue that dude yet? Do I have to go rescue, uh, what's her face? From getting poisoned? Oh, is this it? Equestria, there you go. Can I ask you some questions about escaping the underworld? Can I? Someone wanted me to give you this flower. Oh, how lovely. It just happens to be my favorite, too. Who do I have to thank for this? I'm supposed to tell you it's from your secret admirer and that they'll keep their distance. They just wanted you to know your love. I see. So ah. it's from Galerius. <laughs> you know already. Of course I do. I think everyone in the city knows. That man is a wonderful human being, and my favorite person in the world. But he is the least subtle secret admirer you could imagine. The way he looks at me with those puppy dog eyes. Plus, he's been trying for weeks to get his hands on this flower. He went to so much effort, too. Suspending that rope above the lake, inventing that pulley device all on his own. 
He'd just stand there each morning, looking at the flower, trying to summon the courage to seize it. Oh, my heart. So what should I tell him? Tell that adorable oaf that my Vestal's vow of chastity ends once I turn 36. So if we ever make it out of here, and he doesn't mind waiting a few years, then tell him I love him too. Aww. I hope so. Can I ask you some questions about escaping the underworld? Uh, I beg your pardon? The view was right. We're in the underworld. Oh my. That is quite a lot to take in. You'll have to give me a moment. Let's see. If that is indeed the case, I suppose we'd better figure out what to do about it, hadn't we? We don't have much to go on, except the old stories. I remember four in particular about heroes in the underworld. Hercules, the demigod and son of Jupiter. Orpheus, a Thracian poet. Sisyphus, a king of Ephyra. And Aeneas, a Trojan hero. Hercules was able to leave the underworld because he cowed its god with his strength. Sisyphus and Orpheus both relied on their wits instead. They persuaded the goddess of the underworld, Proserpina, to help them escape. And finally, Aeneas was able to escape with the help of a spirit guide, who led him through a secret gate. So it seems you have two options. To confront the god of the underworld head on, or find a way to escape with the help of Proserpina or some other guide. All right. May Fortuna guide. So, uh, I guess I've, I've gone the route of, uh, asking or, or facing the god head on. I don't know if there's actually two different routes or if, if it's kind of a, oh God, I'd have to do this. Uh, I'll get right on it. Now go in there. I have a bad feeling about it. All right. Honey, you mean Huncules? Stop. Um. Thank you. Apparently lying is totally fine in this world. Another god rejected. Make him gold? I don't know if I can, can I? No, not really. I don't know why I can't, to be honest. Yo, poggy woggies, one more god rejected. Okay, and we gotta go save the girl from being poisoned to death. You. Yeah, I took care of you. And yep. I'll be going now. Oh. Oh. What? She there you go. What? Um, want to go find the medicine. I'll be going now. I'm also going to go get like a 4,000 denarii from this guy. Where is he? This guy. Salve. Salve. Hello, Diff. Uh, you'd never believe me if I told you. I'll tell you. 5,000 denarii. And give it as an investment. In that case deals, uh, deals off. Wait, wait. Golden rule won't allow me to, to not deliver on my promise. It's in the shrine of Diana. You pro what is this? Oh, don't. I pro I, I get like an extra profit of three thousand denarii every single time I loop. Shin Megami OST since I assume you're Shin Megami fan. He's dead now. 
Shin Megami fans will be like, never played a single Shin Megami. Great temple majestic. Oh, yo, I love that game. Persona 2. First adult game I played. I haven't played any of the Persona games. I feel like it would make for a good stream game, but then also it could be awful. I'm fine, thanks. Uh, we, I, I, uh, I'll be going now. All right. I can't believe this is how it ends. Oh, I can't believe how this is ends, <gasps> innit? No, 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 no. That's the. What? Why do you... I'm ple... I'm sorry. Please help. Opius. All right, I'll talk to him. Thank. Uh, is this what Scintilla you... would want? Uh, you'd never believe me if well, I told you. you don't... Maybe I can help solve if your I'd... problem. Already saved Lulia's oh, life. A uh, two thousand you... denarii. I see. So. Actually, I do. Really? Um. No, you'd be you... free, of course. It seems. Thank. Here's your money. Thank you. I just wish there was some way I could. Re Don't worry about I'll it. I'll go and take care of things with Malio. All right. So that's most of the tasks done. Remove the plaque from me. I need to find it to decipher the meaning of the obelisk. So, um, which one am I missing? This is the uh, Egyptian tablet. This is the one before Egyptian. This is Roman. Is this the, uh, is this the Greek tablet? <laughs> Three is terrible with that tower BS IMO. Basically just a dating sim disguised as a JRPG. Three and four are grind fest. Go with two or five. I said to myself, okay, I'll just play five minutes of DF now, and then when I come back, it split 30 minutes later. Duke Dungeon Fighter or Duke Duke Forever? <laughs> Into convenient cavern behind that guy pool. What? Um, okay, so... I want to convince Galliaris to run as a the magister, but I'm not sure how I'm going to be doing that. Maybe I'm already on my way to do to do that because I did solve a problem for him. Cavern Gate is alive and well. No, I almost died just now. I could turn this goose into a golden goose. Hey, good good news, Galliaris. Duke pilled. <laughs> ah, it's you again. Hope you're settling in now. Delivered that flower. Thanks. She knew it was from you. She asked me to tell you that when she's uh, she turns 36, she's allowed to marry, and that she loves you too. Venus, that is the best news I've ever heard in my life oh thank you thank you so much thank you, you have so no idea much how happy you've made me in it i wish there was something i could do to thank you properly but i don't have much to offer just you. run as magister all i can do is tell you where there's a secret stash of coins are you, you gonna tell me it's in the lake uh i'm listening sure in the rock tunnel near the stairs there's a little doorway set into the rock inside if you look carefully you can see a chest Unfortunately, one of those golden huntress statues is blocking the path, and I'm not game to move it. If you can figure out how to get past it, I reckon there might be a small fortune waiting for you. I hope that helps in some way. Doesn't really, because I already knew about that, but I don't know how to move the statue. Ever thought about running for magistrate? I've bounced the idea around once or twice, mainly as a way of getting Dooley set free. But from what I hear, Maliolus has the election. And maybe that's not such a bad thing. If Maliolus runs, he's going to break the golden rule and kill us all. And how could you know that? I mean, I don't like the man. 
He plans to have Sentius executed for treason. You overheard him say that? Oh, why does that not surprise me? He and Sentius have despised each other for a long time now. Well, in that case, we need to find a way to make sure Maliolus loses. Better yet, get him to withdraw altogether. If you can do that, and Sentius is the only candidate left, I'll run against him. Deal? Alright. Alright. See you. Okay, um, I'm pretty sure he can confront Meliolus and, uh, get him to drop out. I can't remember how, though. Imagine if Kanye actually won that election. God. Cerberus lifts his triple head and lets out his threefold braying. Excuse me. The DLC for Duke Nukem Forever was actually really good. I hope the next Duke game is more like the DLC than the base. I don't know what the next Duke game is going to be if ever there is one. I forgot, the dev team that did the original DNF 2001 game just remade it for the new Bombshell game. Yeah, that's true. Just in case we're not three layers of irony deep, he was talking about... <laughs> I don't mind a little bit of a non non secular, you know. That's Keep quite an eye out for Centilla, bow would you? you have there, just like Diana's. Started his irony, then I remembered I actually liked the game. <laughs> um, so what am I trying to accomplish? I have to get Ma uh, Maliolus to bail. I don't know Thank if that, I, I have the ability to do that. Demetrius doesn't usually let anyone in here without a hefty tribute, sir. Any idea where I'd find a Roman plaque? I need to find a Greek plaque. Look, if I had a Roman plaque in my possession, I'd be happy to sell it to you, but I don't, so I can't. Fair enough. I want you to withdraw. <laughs> Why would I? Because as soon as you win, you're going to break the golden rule. I mean, this doesn't really work. Don't talk nonsense. There's no such thing as the golden rule. I played Door Fortress once before Big got me into cud. I'll be playing Door Fortress a lot soon. I'm going to arrest Sentius for treason and sentence him to death by gladiatorial combat. How could you possibly know that? Um, Demetrius told me. Nonsense. This is nonsense. I don't know how you know about my plans, but I'm absolutely sure Sentius is involved somehow. And now, I'm going to enjoy watching Demetrius kill him even more. Now, you have a question if you're a bit lost. True. You outstayed your very limited welcome. No, I need you to bail. Get out of my villa before I have to... Damn it. You are correct, uh, I'm a tan. Create a time paradox, golden rule, her her uh, Herculean task. So do I know about it? Figure out how to get Galerius elected. Persuade Galerius to run for magistrate. So I have to figure out how to get Malarius, um, sorry, Maliolus to ba bail. Figure out how to make Mal Maliolus drop out. Need to dig up some dirt on Maliolus somehow. Uh, I'll need more evidence linking Maliolus to the name Con Quinctius. Equitia suggested I should begin by asking Georgius, the city's only Greek resident. Knock me over with a feather, honestly. Oh, maybe that's what Dooley knows about. So the only way I might be able to find out about the Greek plaque is if I get Georgius to uh, Oi, become magistrate. How did you get in there, you cheeky little stuff? I there's one last thing I wanted to I need to do is I I know where um Scintilla is or Sint I can never remember everyone's name. I'm sorry. I'm bad with names to begin with and all of the Roman names sound familiar to me um, but Yeah Georgia, do you know where the Greek plaque is? 
Georgius? Oh, no. Oh, this is Galliarlis. Wrong All guy. Right. Where's Georgiorius? George 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 Uh Gyminosaurus. Where's Gyminosaurus? Odd realm. Its only unique thing was that it was a prettier DM. Uh it's also a bit more user friendly. In some ways, also not in others. Okay, how can I use the I wonder if I can get rid of these with this No, can I get rid of it with a normal bow use the normal bow to break statue no Okay, well, I don't know how to get in there Okay, so we gotta go, um... Ah, we have to go to the, uh, seps septum. Septum? Sem sen census? Senkilla? Sem septillum? All my dwarves became cannibal cannibals, and it was the ruler holed up in a room with four others and killing everyone that came. Uh... Hey! Yeah, I don't... Sister. You're not thinking sister. about going into the cistern, are you? Bit user friendly isn't saying much since how unfriendly original DF was. Yes. Nobody. One. Dude, I've already heard it. Good. I think there'll be reasons to play Odd Realm. I think it is the uh, the dev is is going to try and do some some different stuff for it. I always miss that first shot. No! Wow, I almost died. His wife is the key. I really like that effect. It's still a lot of fun. Actually was Centilla. Can you not kick the statue at the door too? No, I won't let me. If only it was that simple. I'm Bimple, nobody sent me. You have to help me escape before that monster comes back. We've had this conversation. What? God, am I going out of my mind? Are you going to let me go or not? I'm sorry, but if I let you go, everyone else is going to die. Our escape isn't worth the lives of everyone here. I hate you. That's fine. I... You're back. Uh. What if I round up everyone up so they're ready to escape? There's no time. What? Persuade Sentius to let us go. It's no use. You'll never persuade him of anything. I need to try. You're making. That's fine. So now I have to talk to um, Sentius. I, I don't understand how I don't have the key for this door But either way, it doesn't matter. I just needed to talk to her for some reason this loop The, the last loop, um, I wasn't able to- oh no I wasn't able to accomplish this goal because I ran out of time So now I gotta leave Hey, did I go this way? Yeah, more money. Money really does not mean anything to me.
wait what's uh what's in that other room there's like another place another fountain area mm, okay nothing never mind Uh, even Mr. Clean, he's the hero we don't deserve. Which one is, uh, Georgius? It's a hard, hard choice for me, also because of Jelly, Galley, and only him. Would not let her go if it meant Galley died, right? If you talk with her after you resolve the situation, there might be something. <laughs> Pixie cut with bangs, oh my god. So you survived the system. I hope you have a good reason. We're finally alone. I assume. We are. Is that. Uh, no. I know what you did to Centilla. Me? You're keeping her tied up in the cistern. <laughs> you know, you remind me of him. Who? Al. Al Worth. The fellow who came through the portal before you. Oh, interesting. What? Come now. Surely you didn't think you were the only one here who remembered everything. Oh, that's interesting. You see, my connection to the portal somehow preserves my memories from one loop to the next. Whether that was Proserpina's intention or a happy accident, I'll never know. But I'm surprised you hadn't noticed. Here I was thinking you were a little bit sharper than Al was. Or perhaps you're just more willing to break the rules. He was a moralistic fellow, never once compromised on his principles. And because of that fatal flaw, he relived this day many thousands of times before we finally had this conversation. I watched him come through the portal each time, always a little older, a little more disheveled, a little more haunted. And when he finally saw the futility of it all, as you're about to, it broke him. He drank a jug of wine, tied a noose around his neck, and took his own life. Just before he was shot with a golden arrow. The next time I awoke, you showed up. But you, you've caught up to where he was so quickly. I mean, you've lived through the day. What? Ten times? Most impressive. And yet everything you've done has been in vain. Because there's no escape. Except the path that Al took. The path he wrote about on his tablet. What was it? Ah, yes. Best to take your own life now. So, you discovered my secret. So what? What are you going to do about it? You knew there was a way out and even locked up your own daughter to keep it a secret. Why? Why? Isn't it obvious? Because I have grown attached to all this. My title, my beautiful villa, the sun on my face, the music of birds chirping. And as long as this day keeps repeating itself, I get to enjoy it all, over and over again, for eternity. Don't you see? I have found a way to prolong my life indefinitely. To cheat death. I have become, in effect, as immortal as the gods. Can you honestly say you would not wish to turn same him to into currency? Hand over the key to the exit. And why would I agree to that? Uh, if you don't hand it over, you might have an up uprising on your hands. What's, what's to stop me from taking it by force? The only way you're getting this key is over my dead body. Y yeah. And if I die, I won't be able to open the portal for you again, meaning you'll have created a paradox. You see, it was my actions that brought you to this point in time. So if you kill me, you'll stop me from doing so. And you being here will be an impossibility. That means if I die, you'll be flung back to your original time, having caused the deaths of everyone here, and you'll never be able to undo it. Is that what you want? 
You might have an uprising on your hands. You might want to think that through. If anyone so much as touches me, everyone dies. It's the right thing to do. Oh, you and your pathetic morality. <laughs> Nobody cares about your opinions or what happens where you're from. Least of all, me. Understand that to me, you've never been anything more than a useful idiot. And you're no longer useful. I certainly hope not. In fact, I want it to go on and on forever until you wither and die like Al did and the gods send yet another useful idiot to extend my life for me. I'll find a way to break the cycle and you with it. What are you going to do? Beg the gods for help? <laughs> they don't care about you and neither do I. Now, get out of my villa. I'm bored with you. Who is most likely to break the golden rule and inform Sentius? Well, I've completed a major goal here. Okay. Um, well, honestly... So you survived the system. Shut up, dude. Probably just a stroke of fortune. Here, here's the thing. Don't get caught. Um, I probably can't do it this loop because I've already pissed off Maliolus, but probably Maliolus might consider dropping. I would say he would consider dropping as the, uh, well, I guess he's already got the winning votes, right? Get out of my villa. No, so I never mind. I have to find out, uh, I have to find evidence to support him being, um, whatchamacallit. I'm gonna go talk to his wife again, see how that goes. He's in like a Jojo end boss. Mura, 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 mura. I'm not supposed to be in here. Can we talk? Talk? What business could you possibly have with me? How would you like some help getting back at Maliolus? Hmm, an intriguing proposition. Go on. I don't think Maliolus is who he says he is. Hmm. Perhaps you're not as silly as those clothes make you look. What makes you say that? I was hoping we could figure out his true identity together. You know, I may have oh, here we go. the very thing you're looking for. Some time ago, when he still cared for me, he wrote me a love letter. Only, he used the wrong name. Now... Addressing one's wife by the wrong name is not unheard of among philandering Romans. But in this case, the name he got wrong was his own. I confronted him about it, and he stammered through some incoherent response. I let it go, eventually, and yet... Questions have lingered in the back of my mind ever since. But... Wait a minute. Why exactly are you helping me? I want to force him to withdraw from the election. To withdraw? Listen, I may not be Penelope to his Ulysses, but to ruin his plans to become a magistrate? You must think me quite mad. Oh, God damn it! I've heard enough. Get out of here at once. Domitius, come quickly. Oh, my God. All right, another loop around, I suppose. Well, we've completed quite a lot of things. Um. What? The <laughs> many shall suffer for the sins of the one. Excuse me. Ow.
Bro, his reps. Yo, he's gonna be planking in hell. All he does is stand in the same place and get stabbed in the elections. Super Looper, I just got it an achievement. Salve, friend. The golden rule is going to be broken soon. I need you to quietly get everyone except Sentius. Ready to run into the upper cistern. No, I don't want to do that. Uh. See you later. Uh, except I need you to agree to be magistrate. Ah, it's you now. I but. I'll be going oh. now. Okay, um, honestly, I, I don't need to accomplish all the same goals every time. Let's just go and see if we can't get the uh, proof from that, that lady. I'm just going to try a different response this time. Could be worse. There is a golden statue at public Roman toilet. <laughs> You're not wrong. He was, like, performing the perfect plank. Oh, we don't need to talk to him yet, actually. We need to talk to his wife. Can we talk? Uh, getting back at Maliolus. I think Maliolus is in it. And I got a hunch. I just hate to see such a beautiful woman treated so poorly. Oh, aren't you charming? I'm quite sure my husband would seethe with impotent rage if he overheard you say that. I love it. It seems our interests are aligned. I imagine knowing his true identity will give me the leverage I need to manage him appropriately. But first, I oh. need you to do what? something for me. Pay you? What do you want? I want you to bring me some wine. Just one small. Oh, I've got urn. tons of wine. You do it. Oh, don't look at me like that. I know this must be hard for you to wrap your sweet little pleb head around. Why do you want wine? Let me tell you something about Maliolus. He talks a lot about freedom, but what he doesn't tell you is that he means freedom for men. After all I've done for him, counseling him through his entire election, he said it was for my own good and that my drinking was unbecoming of a lady, let alone the wife of a magistrate. I'll show him unbecoming. Tonight, at his victory party, I'm going to get good and merry. And if he tries to discipline me again, I'll threaten to expose his true identity in front of everyone. I am so looking forward to it. Do finish Mertz? Um, why can't you get it yourself? You mean, aside from the fact that... Yeah, I, I, I already knew that. That's all the questions. So, I, I have some wine right here. Thank you. In which Meliolus accidentally acknowledges his name as Quintius. Nice. Now, perhaps you can tell me who Quintius really is. According to this bounty letter from Emperor Nero, he's the person who started the fires in Rome last year. What? He's... Oh no. That's... Give me that immediately. No. I think I'll hang on to it. What? No. I didn't lie to you. It was a lie of a mission. You were planning this all along and you deliberately... I'll be going now. <laughs> I curse you. Lady. I curse your life and mind and memory. May you be unable to walk or eat or drink. May this... Drag it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. I don't care. I don't. I did. I committed no sin here at all. Maliolus must be stopped, and so must uh, his competitor, Centella. What's his name? I don't care. Centius. They, mo they both Demetrius need to be stopped. Let anyone in here without a hefty. Uh, I want you to withdraw. <laughs> Why would I? Because I know you're Quinctius. Your wife gave me your love letter and Nero wants you dead. I... 
Uh, so, it finally caught up with me. I suppose that makes you, what, one of Nero's assassins? No, I'm not, fortunately for you. <laughs> the Emperor sends his regards, lie, what, just to kill him? So, you're not going to kill me? No, not if you withdraw from the election immediately and release everyone in debt bondage to you. Oh, so much work and money. I will. Fine. Ruling this cesspit of a city would have been beneath me anyway. I'll have Domitius notify the priestess of my withdrawal and release those two from debt bondage. So that means I don't have to pay there. to get the guy out of uh, debt anymore. Now, please, leave my villa and never speak to me again. I mean, you're lucky. I just saved you a giant hole in your pool. Cool. We we golden. Uh, not not literally. But, you know. I want you to go and inform Aquitia. Aquitia? So now we should be able to get to uh, Georges. A man arrived. No, not, uh, Galliera. To agree. Do not go in there. Just trust me. This might be the loop, lads. This might be the loop to end all of loops. They had batteries back then. Apparently Egyptians had batteries. I don't know if that's true. Thank. Okay. Apparently I've lied a lot and I got an achievement. I was kidding. Saved from the assassin. I was kidding, but the Romans genuinely had a cala, calamistrum, calam, calamistrum, ancient curling iron. Oh. Things are going well right now. Let's go ahead and uh, save this person. What are you doing in here? Can't you? She need. What you hope for that? I'm just gonna lie to everyone. That kind of scared me a bit. I won't lie. Anything new from you? A new I'll be going now. Nothing. Okay, let's go talk to Galeras. Actually, let's lord it over this guy a little bit. What now? Need to speak to speak with Opius. He's not here. Where is he? Dunno. The little cap at murder escaped earlier this morning while I was taking Yulia to the clinic. He can't have got tell him the punishment he gets for coming. Whatever. Okay. Um I meant to go up and save Opius. That's pretty cool, never knew about it. Should have known with how the Egyptians had laxed flax hair. I heard of that, though it's it isn't clear any of those batteries were used to produce electricity. Have you considered playing Moon Crash DLC? I know Prey was tough on you, but Moon Crash is very good. It's like time loop with but good. Why is he cockney? Uh, I have considered it. I am a ten. I was thinking about it. I, I know it's got kind of mixed reviews. Salve, Fred. Welcome. But I have been I, ha I have been thinking about it. Ah, uh, we. I, I, oh, I can't oh, I, I, this I, is how I, it ends. Oh, no. Why is he cockney? Oh. No, 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 Oi, no. don't you know that the Romans yes, were originally cockney, yes, governor? That's the in it. Why do you think? Won't they cockney please. in it? Please help him. I'll talk to him. Good news, Opius Melios has agreed to release you and Lulia from your debts. It's too late for that. What? Yulia, if I. I was able to get some selfium. Huh? What? I wouldn't do that. You're both free. Yeah, I just. I'll go this and poor guy, every single loop has to come to, like, insane realizations. No! Why, why was that so difficult? Why can't I grab it? Damn it. Oi! Why is he cockney? Why is he speaking English at all? Well, um, they kind of explain that. 
I mean, it, it, there is no logical explanation, but they just kind of like address it, you know? This poor guy here. Oi! I was just trying to make some coal for the for Christmas. Oh, what, what's this then? Oh, oh, what's this then? Why do you look so happy? Wonder how much one of these statues is worth on the outside. We're free. Maliola's just released us. Me Apollo, keep you safe. Okay, we gotta go talk to uh, Galliaris. Reminds me of Juice from DBZ, who has an Australian accent, but is from space. Wow, well, that's that's the DBZ universe. That's a makes about as much sense as uh, you know. Looks busy. What do you mean? He, he doesn't look busy. Thank you, Elpius. I will. Oh, in it. I saw you slide down that rope before. There and there I. Was. Anyway, I. Uh, I already delivered a flower to Aquisha on your behalf. What? How did you? <laughs> Good. I don't need anything. Thank you. In the rock, man. If you can. Maliolus has withdrawn from the election. He did? Oh, that was unexpected. I wonder what could have possessed him to do that. Well, I guess it's time for me to step up then. Oi, I'll time to step up. Then. I'll be running. He's busy posing. I'll be going now. All right. See you. Okay, so now I'm assuming I have to convince everyone to vote for Galliaris. Here's here's my guess, chat. Here's my guess for what's going to happen here. Um, I'm going to get Galliaris to win. And then um, Sentius is going to be like, yeah, that's cool and all. I mean, you 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 uh, st robbed me of my power for one loop, but I'm going to be magistrate as soon as you fail. So what do I care? Except for the fact that I'm going to be able to free the dude. The dude who's been in prison every single loop. I'm pretty sure he knows where the Greek plaque is. And that's the last plaque I need. That's my guess. But I have to talk to everyone to make sure that uh, they know that Galliaris is running. I, I do, I think I mean like everyone. I'll be going now. That's a shame. Actually, I don't know. Does everyone want to vote for Galler? Galler? Name's Rufius. Any idea where I'd find a Roman? No. What? The I don't know how to get everyone to vote for who I need to vote. Actually, I can help this guy, right? Because uh, about your rheumatism. I figured out the treatment. Here you go. Eat a pinch of willow bark. Um, who are you going to vote for? Anything I can do to change that? No. Said you owed me one, remember? Uh, Galliaris. Fine, but no more fit. We're square. Cool. See. You. That's all we need. May Apollo keep you safe. Can I get you to vote for someone else? Um. Apparently, that's not an option for you. Dudes, dude, where's my car? Can I get you to vote Greetings, for Galera? Uh, I haven't talked to I'm this guy George. in ages. Oh, he's Georges. He gladdens me to see another foreigner. All right, I know, I know. You want to know where I'm from, but I really want to ask you some questions. My friend, your words intrigue me more and more, but... Uh, I'm looking for Kabash. I heard you were the one of the last people... No, I don't need that. Uh, do you know where I might find the Greek and plaque? in a city full of Romans, you are asking me? Because I am Greek. Let me tell you something about Greeks and Romans. My name is Georgios, yes. But the Romans, they do not care. They hear me say Georgios, and they think, ah, he must mean Georgius. Good Roman name. They do this all the time. They see us worshipping Zeus, they copy us, but call him Jupiter. They take Hades and call him Pluto, Persephone, Proserpina. I am flattered that they copy our ideas, but why must they change the names? Do they want credit for making it all up? Do they want to forget where it came from? At first, I pull my hair out. After a while, I give up, and I become Georges the Roman. I accept the world is Roman. 
Plus, I have no hair left to pull. Classic. But my point is this: uh, if you want to know who stole Brooke an old Greek joke. name, look no further than the sticky finger Romans. The plague you seek was pilfered from a collection of old Greek relics by none other than Dulia. Told you, uh, yo, Chad. I told you. Help it. Like a typical Roman, he likes shiny things, especially yo those that once belonged to my people. And besides, it makes him happy. So I say, let him keep it. I believe he still has it with him in his cell, just opposite the Temple of Demeter. Just opposite the te Temple of Demeter. Okay. That's it. Who are you going to vote for? Sendius, I suppose. I wouldn't say I hold him in the highest esteem, but he has. Uh, anything I can do Nothing to change it? Comes to my are you sure? I'll give you my clothes. How do I get him to change his vote? Ah, I knew this day would come. I do not wish to lie to you, my friend, but even discussing this matter is dangerous. Please, let us leave the live coals safely beneath you. You can trust me. We foreigners have to stick together. Very well. But the magistrate would not look... For several months now, I have been sneaking out at night to worship the gods of my ancestors in the Temple of Demeter. Each day, I leave offerings of food in the hope that we may have a bountiful harvest. And yet the next day, when I return, the food is missing. Oh. How is that a problem? The offering, it is symbolic, you see. It is never eaten. So I ask, who or what is devouring the food in this temple? Stranger still. Once I sat in Minecraft front of my Steve shop like in, the is in Greek. Argus until dawn to see if I could spot a thief going in. But do you know what I saw? Uh someone who'd been drinking? Nothing. Nobody entered. And yet when I went to take a look, my offering was gone. It is bizarre, is it not? When I told my friend Kabash of this at the tavern, he offered to help investigate. He went in, and to my dismay... I'm off to Temple Dementor then. There's no reason to do that. I've already done this. I already hey, met Kabash. Have you discovered... I have, but just telling you about it might break the golden rule. Truly, my imagination runs wild. But if what you say is true, I will... Should I stop my offerings though? You should keep leaving them, trust me. Very well. Now... Who are you going to vote for? Send. God damn it. But of course. How do I get I him to change his I'm vote? Good. I need him to change his vote. Ah, a new face. Salve. I hear we... Well... Anything I can do to change my it? My vote isn't... <sighs> don't I have to get this guy... Nice like, I don't understand how to solve this guy's quest. Hold on, let me look at my quest. Virtuous man. How to get Galerius elected. Figure out how to stop Virgil's harassment. Persuade Rufius to stop threatening. Okay, so let's talk to Rufius. Um... No, it was you. I found an incomplete letter. It's fine. I'll leave him alone from now on. It's oh, that, that was easy. I was ever going to hurt him anyway. It's the philosopher eating, I stealing the food. Rushing out. I'm going to go and clean up the graffiti. All right. Okay, so I guess the curing his rheumatism uh, was enough to solve that problem. So now I should be able to get this guy to change his vote, maybe. Welcome back. It's just Rufius, and he's never gonna hurt uh, you. Found an incomplete note in his house. You went snooping in his place? Have you spoke? He won't be bothering you anymore. Really? How did you manage that? I found a treatment for his rheumatism, which was making him agitated and compounding some other personal issues. Ah, uh, poor fellow. I've heard that can really mess with a person's head. Well done for figuring that out. Happy to help. I think he wants to help clean up his graffiti. Really? That's promising. I'll keep an eye out for him. Now, can you change well, your vote? Cynthia seems to know what he's doing. 
Nobody's broken the golden rule under his watch so far. My vote isn't for sale, if that's what you're asking. Come on. What? Really? For real? You're nice still to gonna vote to for Sentius? Citizen. Damn it. Man. How do I get him to change his vote? Uh, I gotta, I gotta talk to Salve. Oi, governor. Wonder how much one of these statues is worth on the outside. You found friendship? Hello there, friend. And may I say, that is a glorious bow you can- Took it from the Shrine of Diana only to discover you'd locked me inside with angry horn inside. I, I need him to change his vote if I can. Well, I'll take your word for it. But perhaps you'd be interested in selling it to me. I mean, it's not as if- Uh... For the right price, I'll tell you where you can get your own. I, this is not an option, right? Are you talking? I'm interested. Five thousand denarii. Oh, that's a little. Take it or leave it. All right, all right. Uh, I don't trust you. Well, how do I? Hmm. Here's your now. Uh, I can't. You probably. What is this? Oh, so I'm assuming I can't get this guy to vote for uh, Galliaris. I don't know. Shiny. Excuse me. Mine him some diamonds. <laughs> you. That's good. And I. Oh. Um. All right. Damn. Oh, I guess she doesn't get to vote. Oh. That's depressing. So there's Hello? the there's the Hello tablet right there. Have we met before? About that Greek plaque in yourself. Do you like it? It's shiny, isn't it? In it It makes me happy just looking at it. May I please have it? But if I gave it to you, then I wouldn't have it anymore. And I'd be sad. What's it gonna take you for you to give it to me? Um. Yeah, well, I figured that was the case. If you get me out of here. There's no way sentience will release you, but perhaps if we had a new magistrate. Yeah, 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 yeah. All I need to do is persuade everyone to vote to, for Galerius. Yeah, Galerius will let me out. Then you can have my plaque. Bye bye. I mean, uh, maybe I could have convinced Maliolus to. No, that's not gonna work. I did not do it. Ask him for Amazon Prime. Oh, there's a lot of bald people in this game. How do I get everyone to vote for Galliaris, chat? It's. This is a problem. What about you, Horatius? Excuse me? Well, that was weird. I didn't do anything what is there. It, citizen? Who are you going to vote for? Well, not that it's any of your business. Y your loyalty will be with Sentia, so that there's no way I can change that rule. Or change this guy. This guy is right. very loyal. Isn't, the great temple majestic? Isn't it majestic? What's the status of the election? It must be completed by dusk, just the same as any other official business. It'll be between Sentius, the incumbent, and Galerius, the challenger. Why do you ask? Uh, who's allowed to vote? All of the male citizens who are willing and able to attend. The women can't vote. Hmm, that's just the... There are some women who can vote. Vestal priestesses like myself. But in this case, given my role overseeing the election, I've decided I'd to need abstain. you to not abstain. I can't allow the perception that I'm being anything but fair and independent. No, no, no. But if it's any consolation, there are other ways to influence the outcome of an election. All right. How? So how? By using whatever gifts the gods gave you. Um, I need you to. Certainly. I need you to actually be helpful, though. See you. What if, uh, isn't, uh, Sentius's daughter... The priestess, yeah. Isn't she, uh... Can, can't I use her vote? 
She won't be hey, quite. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're dude. not thinking about going dude. into the cistern, are you? Could you? No. What? Uh, I'll go and talk to the, the priestess. Clearly, she's useful for something. Oh, whoops. Wrong bow. Okay, lady, it's time to be useful. You, who are you? Did he send you? Thank you. We, what? Um, I will let you go. Forget the others. Let's get out of here. No, this will not. Uh, it's too dangerous. Let me see if I can persuade Sentius to let us go. It's no use. Um, I can be fairly persuasive. You're making them. Well, okay, so this is not helpful. Can I just, like, untie her? Do I just, like, need the key? Do I just need the key for this door? Is that what's up? Only women of high rank can vote. I'm suspecting that she probably can't. She can, she just chooses not to. So I can't help her. I need to find the key for that door. Uh, this might mean that I have to... I don't know what, what happens when you let her go again. She wants you to escape with her and let everyone else die. Can't really do that. So you survived the system. Citizen. I don't think I've done much exploration in here. I could try and look for a key. Bust. Yo, Skyrim moment. What about Sentia? Oh, I wish Horatius would stop letting barbarians in here. Wow, rude. Uh, what do you think about the golden rule? You know, some people say it's the creation of an all-seeing god who's watching everything we do. She's cross-eyed. what kind of an awful, incompetent god would let my sister go missing on his or her watch? Maybe it's best if you don't go insulting gods. No, fair question. Did you hear that? Curse you! What do you have to say? No response. Uh, at least we know blasphemy doesn't break the golden rule. I'm telling you. This mysterious god of ours has to be asleep on the job. Either that, or, like people are saying, it really is just a children's fable my father is exploiting to frighten us into behaving. It's definitely real. Oh, and I suppose I'll just have to take the word of a know-nothing barbarian who just arrived, will I? <laughs> I'll be going now. Uh, well, do you know why oh, I... Well... I wish you mouth breathers would just leave me alone. So she's not helpful. I trust you can see your. What happens when you let her go again? Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know, but it seems kind of game ending if I was to let her go because she wants to, like, doom the entire city. I don't think I'm going to be able to accomplish my goal this loop because I don't know how to get everyone to vote for Georgia or Galliaris. Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, 
what a female dog. Wow. Are they? I thought I told you to get out of my villa. Oh, okay. So you survived the system. Yeah, 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 yeah. If only I could pickpocket in this game, because I'm sure he's got the key on him. I hope you have a good reason for flouting my weapons ban. Yeah, shut up. That's my reason. Can you imagine? The many will suffer. Tell the guy to shut up and he's like, you have doomed us all. I don't know what to do at this point. Like, it seems to me everything is relying on a very few things to happen. Like, I, I need Galliaris to win that election. I wonder if I could convince Philosopher Dude to vote. Like, technically, he should be able to vote, right? What I'll do is I'll, I'll, I'll make the vote happen, and then I'll make a note of how many people vote for uh, Sentius. And then maybe I can swap a few votes over. Welcome, welcome. We've had this conversation before. You're going to explain that the exertion of power required to create Utopia will always result in tyranny. Uh, I was indeed, but we've never met before. Plaque in prison, you need to open that temple I'm also. Sure I would have remembered. I did, I already Lessons. opened the temple. Am I losing my memory? Or I, are you talking about the plaques? The plaque prison. I'm caught in a time loop. Um, philosopher dude can't go topside. Like every philosopher does, so he can't go out. His wife asked you for wine like an hour ago. I already did that. That's how I got Maliolus to b drop from the election. Oh, that's a relief. For a moment. Um. Okay. I enjoy. So that's. It doesn't seem like I'm given the option. I'm not given the option to, uh, I, what about, uh, what's his face? There's like another dude below us even. I can't remember his name right now. Cantus? The, the Egyptian? Maybe I can get him to, uh, agree to vote. <laughs> Listen, I know I'm grasping at straws here, but like if I was actually in this situation, I would, I would a hundred percent consider all, all of these, uh, Solutions, you know Oh god, I forgot about this You need Mr. Clean to win for Dooley to be released for you to get the plaque. Yeah, exactly. Okay, I don't think I need to do this, to be honest. I don't think the game would make me go through all of that. What's over here? Walk from the other side. Oh, is that just like how I come back? Must have been made a sandwich. Yeah, no worries. There's a there's a lot of things going on in this game, but I mean, basically, I need 
exactly one thing to happen. I need uh, Galieras to win. I've only swapped over one vote. And the only other person I can maybe get to vote is uh, the priestess, C Scintilla. But I need to be able to free her in order for that to happen. And I don't know how to do that. So, yeah, it's just kind of a problem. Greetings. This guy's going to vote for Sentius. No. What if I told him to stop? Nothing. I hope. Ex slave lad can vote. Can he? I thought he couldn't vote if he's in prison. Tell Galley to save those two to get the third vote. Ah, it's you again. Oh, oh no. What? Oh. Hello. Uh, it doesn't look uh -huh. like he'll be voting. I remember m to make Mr. Clean do all the good deeds. Salve. Can I get, uh, Ulysses? Ulysses? I don't even know where he is. Okay, you know what? Let's, uh, let's hold the vote. Oh, it's you. Sorry, I'm still a bit out of it. Uh, but thanks for trying to help me, I suppose. Was there something... Or... Where is the guy? No, not prisoner, the cliff jumper. Well, I, I, yeah, that's who I was thinking of, but I don't know where he is. Be careful who you trust. Let me see what my thing says. Create a time paradox, create all four stolen things. Ask Aquisha about appealing the to the gods for help. I need to make... Uh, you can pay the barkeep to motivate people in the voting. Oh, that's an interesting idea. I like that idea a lot, actually. Let me see if I can do that. Uh, I'm not going the right way, am I? Oh, is this the guy? Yo, Ulpius, who are you going to vote for? Shalom. Sentius, I suppose. Would you consider voting for Galerius? Galerius, the farmer? He's a good man, but I think he's more valuable on the farm than as magistrate. Cool. So I saved your life and you're, you're not even going to... All right, friend. Wow. Maybe, maybe, uh, maybe I need to um, reconsider his life on a future loop. Yes, I know. Real, real Bimple considers taking all the food on the table moment there. Oh, you're here. And, uh, there's a light in you. You're, you and you're as charming as you are beautiful. Ugh, coming on a bit strong, don't you think? You came on to me. <sighs> I t let's just... Okay. Um, Kabash heard any interesting gossip? Certainly. For Here. Have you now? She just stands around, cake. Okay. Whatever. You All right. Callie has to be the one to save them. Oh, Faust, you may have figured it out. That's a great idea. You stay away from my money. Lady, you don't have any money. Oh, never mind. You have 2000.
Um, they change their opinions of him just to reset the loop and ask him. Yeah, that's a great idea. Wow. Isn't that a big, long bow? Uh, yeah, that does mean I have to reset the loop. Stuck. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. He's like a shortcut anti-grind mechanism, but I don't I didn't see the option when he came around Imagine I accidentally hit Sentius Yeah friend my I'm gonna need you to take care of some things urgently uh, Lilia is dying but Lucretia can't help her without the sylphium um, Rufius has been threatening Virgil but if you give him some of this willow bark it will treat his rheumatism and he'll settle down I don't need to do this one necessarily I need you to stop Fabia entering the empty shrine until the new arrival. Can I get him to do all of these things? Yulia? Oh no. Oh yeah, I can get him to do everything. Poor Virgil. Poor Rufius too, I guess. So I guess all right, I have been it. avoiding doing this every single time I looped around. All right, let me see. Stop Fabia going in, but... Tell Maliolus he knows his real name is Quinctius, thanks to Claudia, and that Nero sends his regards. Then tell him to withdraw from the election and release his debt, bondsman. What? Are you... You're serious, aren't you? I doubt Domitius will let me talk to him, but I'll make sure he passes on the message. That's it. I'll go, but once I'm done, I'll need you to tell me how you... Okay. Chat, I'm gonna have to use the washroom real quick, but I think this is the... I think this is it. I'll be right back. I didn't realize that, um, first of all, I didn't realize that he would do everything. And I also didn't realize that you could, like, you could get him to do multiple things at once, that he would only do one thing. Say more, no more, fam. Neville also calls me an egg. I guess it's egg, egg. Okay, so let me, um, try hosting the elections now and see what happens. And if, uh, there's enough people to vote, the 49 melodies fetch again. Ouch.
I gotta go find what's her face. I know, and I'll take care of him. Just go and hide. Good job. Good job, Galley. What's her face? Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here's a question. Why not have them vote for me? Is uh, Ellipses, whatever her name is. Rufi is all growl but no bark. Get it? I was just doing what the new guy told me. I don't understand. How did? Never mind. Thank you so much for acting as quickly as you did. Another moment more, and we would have lost her. One of these statues is worth on the outside. Salve, Rufius. I hear your rheumatism has you so riled up you've Rufi? been harassing Virgil. What? My condition is nobody's business but mine. There's no need for that. I just wanted to give you this willow bark to help you treat it. A treatment? Really? <sighs> Thank God. Finally, some relief after all this time. Thank you, Galerius. You're a good man. And I'll be sure to leave Virgil alone. I know I haven't been at my best lately. Appreciate that. Now, I've got to run. I'm kind of looking forward to seeing him uh, destroy <laughs> Maliolos. What now? I have a message for Maliolus. Yeah? Who's it from? Uh, the Emperor. He knows Maliolus's real name is Quinctius, thanks to Claudia, and demands he withdraw from the election and release Ulpius and Iulia immediately. Uh, <laughs> are you out of your mind, farm boy? Ulpius? That's enough. What? You're not gonna listen to this, do are you? Galerius, all right, I'll withdraw, and Ulpius and Julia are free. I, uh, I, I trust our business is concluded? Uh, yes, that ought to do it. I guess I'll go and tell Ulpius the good news, then. Oof. Um, isn't uh, Ulpius up there? Call up the galley. Statue Citizen. lie. Citizen. What? Are you messing with me? I wouldn't do that. You're both free. We're... We're free. We're free. Yay. Thank you. It seems fortune smiles on us after all. I'd better go and pay a visit to Yulia immediately. Okay, so where's Gallia? Galliaris gonna go? Citizen. Yeah. Yulia. I'm so glad you didn't go through with it. It wasn't for lack of trying. And now Maliolus is going to. Wait. Why do you look so happy? We're free. Maliolus just released us and we never have to set foot in that villa. Solid endings for everyone. How? Galerius arranged it somehow. Really? That's incredible. 
Galeris. Galerius. Galer I've been saying his name wrong for the last hour. What next? Made a decision to withdraw. Don't believe a word they tell you. I want you to go and inform Queen. Uh, Be careful. So where is where is Aquitia? Aquitia. Okay, you're gonna lead me to equip you. As you wish, sir. Lead me to her. I can't. I don't know where she is. You, is she is that her right there? I swear to God. Okay. Okay, we're good. We're golden. Priestess, Maliolus has decided to withdraw from the election. Oh, well, that's surprising. Thank you for telling me. I'll let everyone know. Citizens, I have an Citizens. announcement. Maliolus has withdrawn his candidacy from today's election. Unless any new challengers are nominated by nightfall, Sentius will be re-elected magistrate by default. Actually, I'd, uh, I'd like to nominate myself, if that's all right. Of course, Galerius, that's your right. Solid Citizens, arm through clothing the moment. will proceed. Oh. Salve again, friend. I went and did as you asked, and it worked. How is it possible that you've just arrived here and you already know everyone and exactly what's about to happen to them? Um, you'd never believe me if I told you. Oh, come on. I just did as you asked. The least you can do is level with me. I'll keep it between us. I promise. I'm reliving the same day over and over again. Uh, you're toying with me, right? You're a bit like... Oh, what was his name? Sisyphus. Yeah, that's the one. Oh, I thought King you were going to say Al. <laughs> How so? Sisyphus was a Greek king a long time ago. For daring to think he could outsmart the gods, he was given a terrible punishment. He was forced to push a great boulder up to the top of a hill. Only, just as it reached the top, it would roll all the way back down to the bottom, forcing him to start over and over and over again for all eternity. Just like you. Actually, now that I think about it, there are a bunch of old stories about the gods punishing people by making them do the same futile task over and over. Tantalus was made to grasp at fruit on a tree he could never quite reach. The Pelides had to keep fetching water in a sieve. Oh, and Ixion was strapped to a wheel going round and round forever. But on the bright side, at least you're not stuck in the underworld like they all were. Ha. Uh, uh, yeah, at least there's that. Wait, go on. Anyway, I don't know which god you managed to upset to get yourself into this position, friend, but you seem all right to me. So, I'll tell you what. I'll keep doing whatever I can to help you. And you just focus on finding a way to break the cycle you're in. Oh, and I'm in the running for magistrate. Feeling kind of nervous, but I'm hoping it'll all be worth it when I order Dooley's release. I just hope I'll have the votes I need. Um, the next election will be here before you know it. I have a feeling you'll do great. Oh, that's cut now. I'm going to keep your secret. Oh. Okay, so... Can we run the election now, then? Salve! No. Or Isn't the great temple majestic? A new face. Ave. What's the status of the election? It must be completed by dusk. It'll be between senti- Why do you- Uh, can we start the election now? As I said, I'm planning to hold it before- just want to get it over with and done with. Holding it may early may prevent conflict between the voters. Hmm. Yes, I have very well. Sure. Let's get it done. Citizens, it is time. 
Let us meet to elect our magistrate. Time to go to the theater. I don't think I have accomplished my goal, but we'll see. At least it's easy to come back to this point. I guess I could have talked to the, uh, the, the, the training dude, rep dude, planking dude. Dude, sorry, give me a second here. Give me a moment. Ah. A friend of mine is informing me that there is a uh, free money in the MTGA client. I fast walk. I have to remind myself to slow down half the time. Citizens, we have a Citizens. great body of voters gathered here to elect the city's magistrate. The candidates are Sextus Sentius Imperiosus and late nominee Gallus Galerius Helver. Marcus Maliolus Gurgis withdrew his candidacy earlier today. As agreed, we shall dispense with ballots and candidates will abstain from voting. Let's make this quick. As I say your name, call your vote. I'll start with you, Horatius. Sentius, of course. Georgius. Galerius. He saved the life of my dear friend Fabia. Dacius. Oh. Sentius. Virgil. The man who put a stop to the threats I've been receiving. Galerius. Ulpius. Galerius, the man who saved my life. Rufius. The man who treated Yo, my we did it. Galerius. Citizens, you have made your Yo! decision. Your new magistrate is Gallus Galerius Helver. What? It has been decided. Magistrate Galerius, would you like to make a brief address? Uh, um, I just want to say, this isn't something I ever wanted. Now that you've put your trust in me, I'm going to do everything I can not to let you down. I'll need some time to put together a list of the changes I want to make around here. But I promise you, there will be changes. My first order is that Dooley is to be freed. Horatius, release him from his cell immediately. Please. Wait, do I need to say please? I suppose not. That's it. You can all get on with your day. Nothing else to see here. Solid. Move along. Let's lord it all over this dude's face. It's almost as if you're trying to extend my lifespan. What? It's almost as if... Okay. okay. That a line doesn't really make sense to me, but all right. You guys are, like talking all at once, huh? You're going to let me out? Yeah. I'm sorry it took so long, my friend. And it wouldn't have happened at all if it wasn't for a newcomer. So be sure to offer your thanks when you can. I will. I will. Thank you, Galerius. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I'd love to stay in chat, but I've got a lot of work ahead of me. Why don't you go to the baths? Then tell Georges I said you could have some new clothes. Then I want you to go home and rest. I'll speak with you soon, Dooley. Uh, hello? No. Yes, that's me. We've met before. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. You can have, and maybe you can help me find my treasure. My friend Hannibal used to look after me, and he said he always would. But then he died, 
But before that, he told me, if anything ever happened to him, I had to find something very precious. What was it? He gave me a key to the cisterns and told me to keep it safe. He said there's something very precious way up high. Please help me find it. Please. I had to keep it a secret until I found someone I could trust. All right, is this the key to the upper cisterns? All right, I'll help you. Oh, thank you. Here's the key. Amazing. That accomplishes two goals. Hope you find it. In the cisterns. Way up high. Hannibal said. Oh, look over there. Something maybe it is treasure. I can see it for myself. So pretty. And it's just nice. Letter from Sentius to Dooley. Are you gonna steal? Oh my the god, many Dewey! The shall suffer for the sins of the one. <laughs> Can't believe this. Ugh! They're turning us to gold! Can you believe after all of that, Dooley just breaks the rule immediately? I can't believe that happened, honestly. Salve, friend. I'm going to be broken soon. I need you to quietly get everyone except Sentius ready to run into the upper cistern when the ground starts to rumble. Well, we could do this. Classic Dooley. Oh, sounds. You look Can I just oh, ask uh, Galerius right. not to free Dooley? I'll go. Like, honestly, if he just did all of those things and then didn't rescue Dooley, we'd be good. No wonder he was locked Ixian up. Well, that was a, that was the reason he was locked up in the first place. That was the reason given, except, you know, who would have thought that Sentius would be correct, like completely correct. Fabian, listen. Can't believe it. But I have the fourth tablet. I do kind of want to unlock this door just to see, like, can we free the girl? <laughs> Lead resolved heart of gold. Escape isn't worth the lives of everyone. I hate you. Okay, whatever. God. Yep. Everyone's gonna die. No. It's. I'm assuming I can like try and talk everyone into uh, leaving at once. Plate time? Yeah, plate time. 
that's what we're doing now. I was just wondering, like, now that I have the key to this, it's just easier access. Are you loading? I am loading. It's taking a while. Oh, I guess I'm not loading. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, insert plaque. Here we go. Not really sure what's going to happen. Oh no. Can you hard save? I, I have tons of auto saves. Uh, Hades, Lord of Many, grant me an audience. Or f Pluto. Father of riches, grant me an audience. Say nothing. I don't know. There could be any of these, right? Nergel. Osiris. Pluto. Was that, was I like wrong three times or did I have to ask him in like every single name first? Oh, I see. I was wrong three times. I have to ask in the style of each room. So what, what this is Hades. Then this is going to be Osiris. And then this is going to be Hades. Oh, whoops. Nergal? Yo, what? Okay. Didn't really see that one coming, to be honest. Who, who had a uh, spaceship on their bingo sheet? And here you are. Allow me to introduce myself. As you have already gathered, I've been known by many names. Nergal to the Sumerians, Osiris to the Egyptians, Hades to the Greeks, and Pluto to the Romans. But the one constant through it all has been my title, God of the Underworld. And I've been watching you with curiosity, mortal, ever since your arrival. You're unlike the others, aren't you? And what is more, you carry a weapon that was never intended for mortals to wield, and you do it so reasonably. But there will be time for your reckoning later. First, as a reward for undoing the desecration of my obelisk, I will allow you to satisfy your curiosity. Ask what you will. What's your story? My story is many thousands of years long. You will need to be more specific. What do you wish to know? You're a god? It is a matter of perspective. God is a label I was given by you mortals. Not what I gave myself. You know, when you Your call us mortals, because to them, my knowledge and technology sure made me sounds like you want to be a god, powerful. just as you might seem so to an insect. But despite all that, there are rules even I must obey. 
What do you look and sound like? Why do you look and sound like a man? My kin and I all adopted this form long ago, so that we might better understand and communicate with your kind. In time, we grew fond of the sensory delights it affords. Desire, joy, ecstasy, even rage and sorrow. While well, an acquired taste can be addictive. May I see your true form? No. Long ago, I swore to Persephone that I would remain in this form for as long as we remained among your kind. I must honor that. Who is the woman on your left? This is my beloved. Like me, she has been known by many names. Eresh Kigel to the Sumerians, Isis to the Egyptians, Persephone to the Greeks, and Persephone to the Romans. Yo, Caves of Cut reference? Perhaps you might know her as the goddess of springtime, the cycle of life and renewal. Oh, so I'm hearing Persephone? Your gaze lingers too long. Who is on your right? That is my servant. You would have met by the river, though she wears many faces and goes by many names. Kumu Tabal to the Hello? Sumerians. Kurti to the Egyptians, Charon to the Greeks, and Charon to the Romans. Her role is to ferry souls between the mortal world and this one, and to make their transition as seamless as possible. For that, she earned herself the infamous, if erroneous, moniker, the Ferryman. You will talk more later. For now, ask your questions. Let's talk about something else. As you wish. What is this place? It has come to be known simply as the Underworld, and it exists because of a wager I made long ago. What was the wager you made? That is a long story, one that began over 3,000 years ago and continues to this day. You see, long ago my kin and I set out from our home on Elysium to search for other forms of life among the stars. We discovered your planet, and witnessed your kind evolving from primates into something lawless and barbaric. You all but destroyed yourselves, your too short lives being extinguished by violence and ignorance and disease. Yet Proserpina saw raw potential in you, and persuaded the rest of us it would be squandered without our intervention and stewardship. So we revealed ourselves to your people in a place called Sumer, we offered guidance in agriculture, toolcraft, and law, and you called us gods. For a time, you flourished, but soon you were too many for us to oversee. And as you spread from that cradle of civilization, we saw something disturbing. We had sown the seeds of dependency and confusion, and soon you returned to your old ways of violence and ignorance, this time in our name. My kin had seen enough, and gave up on your kind, condemning you as barbaric and chaotic, scarcely more than animals. We began preparations to return to Elysium, our home world, a utopia unspoilt by conflict and unimaginable in its beauty. But my Proserpina could not bear to abandon your kind without guidance, and knowing it would force the rest of us to leave her behind, she made an extraordinary sacrifice. She gave up her immortality to descend permanently to the ranks of humankind. And so she began her inescapable trajectory toward death. Horrified, I acted swiftly. I placed her in suspended animation in a deep frozen sleep to prevent age and sickness from claiming her. Harvester? And then I pleaded with Proserpina's father. What is that? It's called Jupiter to bring her with us to Elysium. It was and is my hope that once there, we might one day learn to undo what she has done to herself. But he refused. I did everything I could to persuade him, but he would not relent. He would rigidly uphold his final pronouncement. Humans were unworthy of ascension to Elysium, and no exceptions would be made. But seeing that I was aggrieved, he proposed a wager, the terms of which were as follows. If even one human city could prove itself capable of living without sin for a single year, 
then Proserpina and all of humanity would be permitted to join us in Elysium. My part would be to remain behind, the last of my kind, to watch over you without interfering, and to sit in silent judgment. And so my reward has been to languish here, enduring a 3,000 year winter, waiting for the day your kind proves itself worthy of her faith in you, so that I might take her with me to Elysium and unthaw my goddess of springtime. Kid murder. And here I am, after all this time, still waiting. Not stream friendly? Who are your kin? There were also gods who, like me, have been known by many names. But perhaps you knew them by their Roman names. Our leader, Jupiter, as well as Neptune, Saturn, Juno, Minerva, Mars, Venus, Apollo, Diana, Vulcan, Vesta, Ceres, and of course, my beloved Persephone. Who built the city? As the first wave of your kind arrived from the Sumer, I had them build a city in their own fashion, so that they might be comfortable and recreate their lives here. I mean... I had them build the entrance as a vertical shaft leading to baths, to cleanse them of the sins of their former lives, and to prevent escape. I watched wave after wave... Is it any less stream-friendly than, uh, as their civilization Library of Ruina? the centuries, they were replaced by Egyptians. Of course, believing themselves to be the superior civilization, the Egyptians promptly built over what had been built before, and made all the same mistakes. Oh, who says it's over? After another thousand years, the Greeks... I'm pretty sure as soon as I get these answers, the, Romans, the loop is just going to start again. The same thing. They built upon the underworlds of their predecessors, renamed their gods, and ensured their foundations were forgotten. Did you decide who comes here? To ensure the wage was fair, it was important that my subjects were chosen at random. To this end, I had my servant distribute a thousand tokens fashioned from silver, a rare element at the time, across all of Sumer. Whoever died while in possession of one of them would be located by my servant and ferried to this place, with no memory of how they arrived. As the tokens were discovered, they were traded, smelted, and fashioned into trinkets, and eventually coins, spreading to Egypt like seeds on the wind. Later, when they spread to Greece, they would come to be known as Charon's Obel, or as coins for the ferry. Some placed coins in the mouths of their dead, hoping they would awaken here, though they had no way of knowing which coins were fashioned from the original tokens. In fact, almost all of the tokens are accounted for, only two remain. And so after this wave destroys itself, as it is destined to do, your kind will have squandered the last of its potential to ascend beyond this rock, and Persephone is along with it. How did humans learn about the underworld? It is a regrettable story. One of the first men who came to this place was a king of Sumer and a troublemaker. To be rid of him, I returned him to his people on the condition that my servant erased his memories of this place. But the erasure did not take completely, and he told stories of this place as if describing memories of a dream. His tales were committed to writing, which came to be known as the Epic of Gilgamesh. His words were twisted and distorted over generations. Later, the Egyptians would adapt Sumer's stories of the underworld, making them wildly intricate and labyrinthine. Their Book of the Dead and Book of Gates bore less and less resemblance to this place in their priests' pursuit of profit. Then, when the Greeks began to arrive, they proved far more cunning. And in a series of incidents that will not be repeated, five of them escaped. A warrior named Heracles, two kings named Sisyphus and Theseus, a poet named Orpheus, and a Trojan named Aeneas. They each told embellished tales of this place, how to get here, and how to escape. And so from Sumer to Egypt, Greece to Rome, 
Your kind has always told each other stories about this place, though each story contained only a seed of truth. Okay. Of course. Are you responsible for the Golden Rule? That is merely the name your people have given to it, but yes, it is my doom. Why turn people into gold? That is a story dating back to the very first wave. After the Sumerians finished building their city, the self-declared ruler threw a banquet to celebrate. Now this man was unmarried, and many women were vying to become his wife. Prestigious position of power and influence in a new world. Of all the women, two were particularly ambitious. Both were beautiful. And both arrived at the banquet wearing eye-catching dresses and painted faces, their hair woven in elaborate fashion. The first woman, recognizing that she would require an advantage to win the ruler's affection, draped herself in jewelry, ornate necklaces, bracelets and rings fashioned from gold. Seeing this ostentatious display, the second woman grew envious, for she had no such jewelry at her disposal. She prayed aloud to any gods that would listen to cover her in gold. And when her prayer went unanswered, she took matters into her own hands. While the others indulged at the banquet, the second woman summoned the first for a discussion in a quiet place. She checked that nobody was watching and pushed her rival from the top of the ziggurat where she broke her neck on the rocks below. But I was watching. And I decided to answer her prayer. I took the golden bow left behind by Diana, and I shot that woman in the heart, covering her from head to toe in a layer of molten gold. And I left her to stand there, that she might serve as a grim reminder of what befalls those who sin in my domain. Golden is but the that crown. Was not enough, for the entire city was tainted by her sin. And the wager could no longer be won. So I had no choice but to wipe the slate clean. I gilded them all to make way for a new wave and began the wager again. And to this day, each of them and all who came after line the halls of this city, inanimate but conscious, suspended in time with only their sight and hearing preserved so they may bear witness to and lament the folly of your kind for eternity as silent golden sentinels. Jesus, you're responsible for destroying all these lives. I give your kind a second chance at life, as well as ample warning about my law. And when you disobey, and you always disobey, you force my hand, bringing terrible suffering upon yourselves. And so you ask if I am the one destroying your lives. And I say, no, you destroy yourselves. I am merely the means by which you do it. I don't know about that one, Chad. That sounds like flimsy logic to me, friendo. Seems to me that you're forcing me to be a Nazi. I didn't want to, but you kept calling me one. And so I, I just had to be like the worst freaking thing ever. And you have restarted the timer and you know, not goldified all those innocents? Maybe. Where did these golden bows come from? When my kin departed, they left behind many relics, which I inherited consolation prize of sorts. The golden bow originally belonged to one of my kin, who the Romans called Diana. As my collection of golden statues grew, I chose the most ferocious among them and equipped them each with a duplicate of her bow and tasked them with hunting down the forsaken at my behest. They became known simply as Furies. Furies? I've always considered consider that the sin. cornerstone of morality is the ability to determine right from wrong on one's own. No attempt to lay out rules like your Code of Hammurabi or your Twelve Tables of the Roman Republic can ever cover all possible scenarios. 
This should come as no surprise to you, since the core principle has been expressed in many forms by many of your civilizations. The Egyptians made a rudimentary attempt with do to the doer to make him do. The Greeks refined it with avoid doing what you would blame others for doing. The Roman Stoics added, treat your inferior as you would wish your superior to treat you. Even the so-called cultists hiding among you often say, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. It is the simplest of concepts, and each one of you is born with the faculties required to apply it to any situation. Yet none of the peoples who expressed this rule were able to uphold it. Curious, is it not? The principle is not as easy to apply as it sounds. It doesn't seem like you've been upholding it either. Enough. You clearly know nothing. How dare you challenge me at what is clearly like a very basic pulling of the thread of my logic. How do you know when people sin? I am able to commune with all of the statues in the city. Their ears are my ears, and their eyes are my eyes. Is pers well, this isn't something I would want to admit. If she was still conscious, I suppose she could, but she's not. Why do you ask? No reason. Then what an odd question. <laughs> what an odd question. I will not question this further. I've seen some terrible things here that you didn't consider a sin. How could you let them happen? Do you plan to speak in sweeping generalizations? Or are you going to give me an example? Um, well, I, I guess we're going to get a rundown of uh, morality here. Suicide. I've seen no such thing. But in any case, Wait, what? taking one's own life is a self-directed act. It is not one that is done to others, however they may be affected by it. I guess that's Therefore, fair. it cannot be said that one who commits suicide has done anything done to others. Yeah, I, I guess that makes sense. Fair enough. Now tell me, what other sins do you believe I have overlooked? Price gouging for life-saving medicine. The merchant. How is that inconsistent with the rule I've outlined? He wouldn't want someone else to demand an outrageous price for the medicine he needed if he was dying. Yeah, exactly my words. I disagree. Having watched this merchant, that is precisely what he would expect from others. Oh. And he would be quite capable of paying the price anyway. Right. So, therefore, no billionaires are breaking your rules. Cool. This guy is, uh, this, this, this dude is just Elon Musk. He's just Elon Musk. <laughs> it is. It's just Elon Musk. He owns the underworld. He bought it for $44 billion. He doesn't understand uh, how a simple rule like that applied to all of morality would, uh, would not work. It's exactly like Elon Musk. He's like, what? We don't need this. We don't need this code. We'll just fire all of the people that, you know, don't write enough lines of code. That makes sense. I can't believe it. We solved it. No wonder everything is so messed up. Even even our gods are, are stupid. He still has a wife. You got me there. Dagoth Musk. <laughs> What a grand and intoxicating in innocence. What happened in chat? I I don't mind damn aliens as an explanation because at it here here's why I don't mind it, chat. I feel like they were kind of leading up to this. Because the thing is, is they, they said, okay, like one civilization came and went, and then the next one called the same gods the same thing, uh, or something different, right? Same gods, new name, right? Then the next civilization came and then new new name, same gods, right? So what happens when someone from the modern day comes? Like, what are we calling these gods, right? But like the rules remain consistent. I feel like the only way they could have gone is like futuristic tech, right? There's We're at the ultimate end of um, futurist utopian ideals. 
and I do think that there's a there's some like you know fair play there in a, in a way I understand that it's a second gimme because you're asking us to buy aliens along with the city what if you disagree with him and are able to change the golden rule by convincing him if that is possible it might be a stretch I don't think it would but Okay, how about this? Yeah, you can't know what he would expect. You're just speculating. Applying this rule always requires speculation to some degree. It requires us to ask what another person would want if they found themselves in another situation. Doesn't that make it inherently subjective and unreliable? Not if we're wise enough to know the mind of man. And you think you know the minds of other people? Hmm. Supposing you're right and my law has been broken. And I should turn you all to gold immediately. Oh, God. Is that what you want? No, I want you to change the rule. No, of course not. Never mind. Huh. Now tell me, what other sins do you believe I have overlooked? A scam. Ah, the tavern keeper, yes. How is that inconsistent with the rule? She wouldn't want someone else. Well, it's the I same disagree. thing. Having watched that tavern keeper, that is precisely what she would expect from others. This is the same she talk of the philosopher? Yes. When she intends to win. Except it's from the other end. The philosopher it, um, believes that no, no hard rule can exist to encompass all of morality. Whereas this guy is the complete opposite. He believes that one rule can absolutely just... Uh, dictate and define morality fair enough now tell me debt bondage you speak of the money lender and he would never have signed a contract pledging his labor for 30 years all he did was enforce the terms of a contract signed voluntarily by others like slavery is unethical. It's illegal under international law where I'm from. Ignoring your irritating sense of moral superiority. This is interesting. I'm curious. How do people escape poverty where you're from? Take out a loan to buy a house. And in some places... Yeah, I mean, he's about to very easily, uh, you know, show, show us how our realm is not moral either. I see. And how long might it take such a person to repay their debt? Depends. Typically decades, sometimes their entire life. I fail to see how your system of loans is significantly different to a debt bondsman signing over his labor for 30 years. Fair enough. Now tell me, what other sins do you believe I have overlooked? I, I don't have to go through all of these, I'm sure, but I, I'm interested to see how the golden rule is applied to each one. Experiments on the golden statues. The midwife and the palace, yes. How is that inconsistent with the rule? She wouldn't want to be experimented upon if she was gilded. The rule is do unto others, meaning other people. Those statues are something else now. Bloodless shadows, mere shapes of their former selves. They are forsaken. What happens to them is no concern. That makes it so much cooler. No golden statues in the Philosopher Cave, so God doesn't know about him. You're right. Well, that... Hold on. Wasn't there golden statues where, uh... Kasif was? The Egyptian? What happens to them is no concern of mine. That seems like an extremely literal interpretation. Applying this rule always requires us to interpret the meaning of the words. A literal interpretation helps to minimize the ambiguities of your primitive language. Yeah, I mean, that's honestly kind of fair. If your language is full of ambiguity, doesn't that make the rule inherently subjective and unreliable? Hmm. Suppose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh. Now t Abduction. Abduction? You mean the magistrate imprisoning his daughter in the system? He did so because she sought to escape. A sin I take particularly seriously. Better that he stops her from escaping, albeit brutishly, than I have to wipe out this entire city to punish her. Wouldn't you agree? Okay. Now tell me, what other sins do you believe I have overlooked? It's no wonder people say the gods are cruel. This just shows how unreliable and subjective your moral code is. 
You know better better at judging right from wrong than any other human. Well, this seems like a bad decision or choice, but sure. Do you honestly think you could do better? No, but that's my point. Nobody's grasp of right and wrong is so perfect. They can be trusted with all this power. You've become a tyrant. And therein lies the philosopher's guidance. I should strike you down for that. You'd be proving my point. Huh. Now, did you have any other questions before your reckoning? Let's talk about something else. Very well. My dwarves died. You've become a tyrant, bot. That's all the questions I had. Good. And now it is time for your reckoning. Only, it seems, something is wrong. It has long been within my power to see into the hearts of mortals and weigh their deeds in life. But when I peer into you, I see only a black slate, as if you did not exist until you appeared in this city. How is this possible? Charon, where did you find this one? I do not remember ferrying you. How did you come here? I'm from the future. Interesting. So they are not responsible for my time loop? That is Persepina? If that is true, then I sense the intervention of someone powerful. How did you come to be in this time, mortal? Who brought you here? I cannot know. I was hoping you could tell me. I do not know. My kin departed long ago, and Proserpina has slumbered for 3,000 years. Shouldn't you know this as the god of the underworld? Tread lightly, mortal. Well, what's this, the worst you can do to me, dude? It seems I will need to put your reckoning on hold for now. But answer this. Why have you come here? What is it you seek? I'm here to kill you. Why is that here twice? <laughs> oh, God. draw a wooden bow. Yeah, okay, dude. Lucky to put an end to the golden rule. Uh, sure. <laughs> your hubris is amusing. So I will allow you to make your case. But I warn you, if you anger me, or waste my time with lies or wrong-headed arguments. You face death here. So, tell me, why should I put an end to the so-called golden rule? If you're doing this for love, you should know that Persephone doesn't love you. Oh, that's a good idea. How can you expect us to live without sin if you can't do it yourself? Also not great. Uh, the golden rule is corrupting the city and ensuring you'll never, you'll never win the wager. Hmm. This is the most likely one. What do you think, Chet? Uh, I'm not accepting draw golden bow. I might accept draw wooden bow. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> Losing is fun. I appreciate segment more than when that parallel was drawn. Draw a wooden ball. <laughs> uh, all right. Golden rule is corrupting the city and ensuring you'll never win the wager. How so? And be specific. You have made a grave allegation, and I expect you to back it up. Decius is price gouging for life-saving men. We already did this. He doesn't think that that's a betrayal. Rufius has become so paranoid that he's jumping at shadows like Virgil's sexuality. Um, that's an interesting choice. Aure Aurelia is exploiting people's desperation to escape by selling them hemlock. Maliolus has trapped people in debt bondage by convincing them that, that rebelling would break your law. Well, these are four examples that we've already kind of talked about, and he doesn't think that these are problems at all. One more god rejected. One more god rejected. <laughs> um...
Yeah, I mean, Maliolus has trapped people in debt bondage by convincing them that rebelling would break your law. It's interesting, but I don't think it's gonna work. I'll, I'll try it. His cruelty does seem to grow greater by the day. Um, oh, I guess I can try all of these. Decius is price gouging. No, we'll try Aurelia. Is exploiting people's desperation to escape by selling them hemlock. I admit, I have grown disturbed watching her. Rufius has become so paranoid that he's jumping at shadows like Virgil's sexuality. He is a volatile and confused fellow, that one. Decius is price gouging, sure. True. I have witnessed him doing that. Hmm. If you're right. My involvement has corrupted the very thing I sought to observe impartially. But if I were to accept that, are you telling me these humans could coexist peacefully without theft or violence, without my law? Humans need to be able to use force in exceptional circumstances to correct their societies. This is, I, I, there needs to be a third answer here. I don't think so, no. <laughs> But also, I don't like this. I think more um, specifically, no, but they'd have a better chance if they didn't think the rule existed. Uh, no, I, I really don't think that this is correct, and I don't think that he'll buy that either. So I'll, I'll try the second one. How so? We use violence to discourage bad behavior to neutralize criminals and this, I mean, again, I don't agree with this, but I'll go with it. And how is that working for you? Where I'm from 2000 years in the future is working pretty well. On average, life expectancies are climbing and crime rates are declining. I mean, there's a l there's a lot wrong with all of this. I, you know, one, one thing I do appreciate about this game is this person from the future they have a very naive sense of their where they're from and how it is better than a lot of these people in the in the past but the game is also pretty aware of that like it doesn't it doesn't treat that future as being like infallible in any sense sometimes you gotta smack a bitch <laughs> so you say and yet your world is still imperfect. It's still imperfect, but at least we are offered the opportunity to get things wrong. The kind of force required to create a utopia will inevitably result in tyranny. And there is, is the philosopher's guidance again. You have spoken eloquently. And yet, if what you say is true, it follows that my wager was fatally flawed from the beginning. But that would mean Jupiter, Preservator's father, who knew more about you than anyone, proposed a wager I could never win. Why would he do that? Perhaps he made a mistake too? Perhaps he wanted you to abandon the wager so Persipina would be free from you? Perhaps he felt threatened by you and didn't want a potential challenger in Elysium? I don't want to do this last one. I don't want to piss him off. So th this one, I feel like, has the best op the best chances of, of winning here. Felt threatened by you and didn't want a potential challenger. Perhaps. But if that was so, surely I would have sensed his deception. How could I have been so blind for so long? You're a monster on a power trip? No, don't like that. Perhaps when you took on human form, you took on some human foibles as well. Interesting idea. Perhaps you were blinded by your love for Persepina. It's very human. I like this third option because it basically is saying the second one as well. Uh, your words sting me, mortal. But perhaps it is what I deserve. As difficult as this is to admit, I have suspected as much for a long time now. And I cannot deny it any longer. I've been so fixated on taking my beloved to Elysium that every time one of you sinned, it wore away my hope of being with her again. In time, I began to despise your kind for making her believe that you could ever be better than you are. But my rage was not born of malice, quite the opposite. Everything I have done, I did because I loved her. Who knew this empathy of yours, which you celebrate so much, 
could have such a dark underside. This has gone on too long. It is time for me to let go of this form of her, <laughs> of all of you. But know this. If I abandon the way Jen Lee for Elysium, neither she nor your kind may ever ascend. Why can't we go to Elysium? Because doing so would violate the rules of my sacred agreement with Jupiter, and you would receive a hostile reception. The best I can do is return you to the land of the living. I will have Charon make arrangements to ferry the others. But as for you, be aware you will be separated from the rest. Why? Once this exodus begins, the events that brought you to this moment will never have taken place, and you will have created a paradox. What will become of you is difficult to predict, but that is the risk you have taken by interfering in the natural flow of time. Now, are you ready? Sure. Farewell, mortal. I guess the girl in the cistern is uh, an optional secondary, uh, like, ending. Do I get to keep the bow? No, I don't. I don't have the bow anymore. Did you know that gravity is the weakest force in the universe? What's the second weakest? This force? Smack. <laughs> Oh, the cistern ending uh, is way better. Really? Give me a bit of a fright. Thought I was in here alone. I'm Al. I came in here to find you. Go back in time. What happened? I was gone for a minute. Uh, aliens were like, "Yeah, you right. You right. I've been a fool." And then I was like, "All right, send send me back." And they're like, "Okay, go back." to the past and then and then i was like whoa sorry whoa whoa and then and then al worth was like uh hi you gave me a bit of a fright i thought i was alone in here alone I i'm al al worth i came in here to find well, you well here i am i'm sorry i didn't catch your name i'm bimble <laughs> Wow, very anticlimactic. Oh, did that lady in the forest send you in here after me? I guess I lost track of time, learning about the history of this place, and it is extraordinary. I'm fairly certain you and I are the first people to set foot in this city for about 2,000 years. Fortunately for us, the last person in here was a Roman man named Galerius, who inscribed an account into a tablet. Apparently, there was a community of 20-something people trapped in here and living in fear of a curse they called the Golden Rule. They believed that if even one person sinned, an unknown god would cast them all into gold, like the thousand people who'd lived here before them. Then, one day, just as Galerius had finished praying for a good harvest at the Shrine of Proserpina, an oracle appeared and told him how to solve the ills of the city, like saving the life of a dying woman, preventing the suicide of a man in debt bondage, freeing a falsely accused prisoner, foiling an assassination attempt, and so on. Meanwhile, the Oracle walked up to the temple of the mysterious god, this one right here, and demanded an audience. And the doors just opened up to him. Nobody knows what went on in there, but Galerius wrote the Oracle must have been more persuasive than Odysseus, because the next thing he knew, the ground shook, and the voice of that god rang out over the city. The many have suffered long enough. Unfortunately, Galerius' account just sort of stops after that, leaving a lot of questions unanswered. What became of him, and the other people who lived here? What happened to all the golden statues? And did this mysterious oracle single-handedly undo the curse that had terrorized people for hundreds of years? Sounds a bit far-fetched. And they all had beer and pizza and laughed about the events that I would never tell, and it was, it was a good ending. And we had, it was good, and we, we laughed, and then the, 
the uh, pan right to the vaudeville ending. It was good. I don't know. It reads like an earnest account to me. Anyway, I think I found a way out through the aqueduct that brought water into the city. Follow me. Right behind you. So I guess I could get them all to escape, right? So is this the city? I'm going to pause here for a moment and make sure nobody else is ever lured into this temple. Good idea. You go on ahead and I'll be there soon. No pizza, pe no pizza in ancient Rome. Italians weren't invented yet. It's a me, God. The many will have pizza. Uh, pinches fingers. You're back, but you're alone. Does that mean you didn't find Al? I found him. He'll be here in a moment. Ah, oh, what a relief. Thank you so much. I was beginning to think you'd both become trapped in there. Why don't you tell me what you discovered while we wait? Much more cathartic. Worth exploring. I discovered you now who you said you were. I remember meeting you 2,000 years ago. Ah, I see. Jesus. I thought you might. Well, now you know. I suppose you have questions. Who are you really? You can just call me Charon, if you like. I am sorry I was not completely honest with you when we first met. I do not enjoy deceiving people. Believe me, I do not. But I have learned, from 5,000 years of experience, that most people find comfort in familiarity, in gradual change, and coming to see the truth in their own time. What truth? That you died, of course. You were dead when I brought you here. My role, as the servant of the god of the underworld, has always been to assist the chosen to cross the threshold from the land of the living to the land of the dead. How's the game still going? Epilogue. How did I die? Hmm. Usually, when people do not remember how they died, it is because they suffered a terrible trauma. Most souls would rather not remember. Ask yourself honestly, do you really want to know? Yeah. As you wish. You were murdered. You were exploring an old tomb when you discovered a cache of forgotten relics, including two silver coins of ancient origin. Unfortunately, as you emerged into daylight, you were set upon by two thieves. A nearby hiker saw the scuffle break out and leapt to your aid, trying to help you recover your bounty. You both fought bravely, but your assailants were armed and you were not. There was nothing you or your ally could have done. He died instantly at the scene and you followed a few hours later. That man's name was Al when Albert Einstein. You were each in possession of a sacred coin, called Charon's Opal by some. And so it was my duty to bring you here. Pluto said the coins Al and I had were the last in existence. What does that mean for you? It means I am now bereft of purpose. There is nobody else to ferry here. Nobody to keep you company. After 5,000 years, the underworld has finally run its course. What's so special about these coins? Perhaps you have heard the tales of the Greeks and Romans bearing their dead with a coin in their mouths to pay the ferrymen for passage across the river. Well, those stories contained a seed of truth. 
but not any coin would do. A long time ago, my master created a thousand silver coins and had me distribute them across the world. My orders were simple. Whenever a person died in possession of a coin, I was to locate them and ferry them here. Pluto mentioned that my coin was the last in existence. What does that mean for you? It means... Yeah, 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 yeah. There is nobody... Can you return us to the land of the living? I see no point in keeping you here. But I have to ask one thing. That you keep this to yourself. Look! Here comes Al now! Al! Kinda lost track of time in there. You wouldn't believe what we found. The ruins of a long-forgotten city. And there was a tablet describing an oracle who confronted a god and undid an ancient curse. Sounds like quite a story. And I look forward to hearing all about it. But... You two look exhausted. Why don't you hop in my boat and rest while I... ferry you back to civilization? Sounds good to me. And you? Are you ready to go home? Alright. Wow. Dunzo. Oh, no. Still. Ne Never mind. More, more story, actually. Hold on. Legs are not yet invented. Yo, is that Minecraft, Steve? It is! Hey, you made it. No, it's not. Great to see you again. I read your book. And what the critics said about it. I guess they weren't ready for your theories about the underworld. Anyway, after everything you've been through, I thought you might appreciate some good news. So after we got back to the real world, I started doing some research into the people mentioned in Galerius's tablet, and I found something strange. I'm sorry I've been so cryptic. I've been dying to tell you, I just really wanted you to see this for yourself. Why don't you head on down there? I'll catch up with you at the other end. That's cute. Let's see, uh, Roman, Greek, um, Sumerian, Egyptian. Home museum until people start to sound British. Oi, in it? Check out this valuable piece of treasure we looted as a culture. <laughs> Yo, what? You're finally here. No Remember way, me? dude. No, dude, it's Mr. Clean. You're here. I, I got, I got something really cool to show you. Check out this eraser. It, it cuts through grease and grime in, in a matter of seconds. Check it out. Look at, look, I can, I can polish this, this bronze here really quickly. Isn't that cool? <laughs> Available at your local Walmart. You should go and buy some. Go and buy some, uh, of these erasers. They're really cool. You're finally here, remember me? It's a crazy story. After you disappeared, Karen appeared and told us she was returning us to the world. Even gave us some coins to help us start our lives over. Only, for some reason, she returned us to your world instead of ours. Anyway, I know we only ever had that one conversation, and I wasn't even sure if you'd remember me, but I wanted to say thanks for freeing us from the underworld and giving us a second chance at life. What are you doing with yourself these days? Oh, I used Karen's gift to buy a farm in Umbria. Got a villa on it too, with enough room for Dooley, of course. It's hard work, but I sleep soundly every night. I'm finally my own man, and I... I wouldn't change it for the world. Finally awake, are you? Here was a question now? I know! I can't believe my luck either! But we're engaged and living together. Nice. We're planning to get married next spring. If you're gonna be around, we'd love to see you there. Dude, you... I, t I said like three sentences to you before... Before we... Uh, what? Hmm. Sure. Pixie Bang's Roman girl is alive. Is she? It's good to see you again. Of course. There's a whole museum full of people waiting for a chance to thank you. So you better keep moving. We'll speak again soon, my friend. Solid. Oh, hello. 
Oh, hello. It's lovely to finally meet you. Duly became Mr. Bean. All about you. Good to see you too. So, you're the hero who somehow vanquished the last of the Roman gods. As I'm a priestess, you realize you've put me out of work. I'm just teasing. Actually, and it still feels a little sacrilegious to say this, I'm finding life after religion quite enjoyable. What are you doing with yourself these days? Galerius and I are engaged and expecting. We've just bought a lovely villa in the countryside with room for a large family and Dooley too. What? Of course. It feels like the world has what? just Why opened Dooley? up for us. There's so much to learn and so many more possibilities for our children than we ever imagined. We're just so thankful for what you did for us. For all of us. How's Olivia? Oh, it's sweet of you to ask. She recovered nicely. In fact, she's here somewhere. If you'd like to ask her yourself. I'll do that. See you at the wedding, I hope. We got a lot of characters to talk to, chat. So this is going to be another uh, half an hour at least. Hey, Dooley. Hello. I'm Dooley. Yeah, yeah. I remember. Galerius said you're very nice and a big helper. Thank you for getting us out of the bad place. I didn't like it. What are you doing? I live at Galerius and e Equitia's house. They look after me now. That's weird. And help me remember when I forget things. Like brushing my teeth. Uh, I'm sorry you never found your treasure. Treasure? Oh, I forgot about that. I like my box now. Galerius got me a box that tells stories. It's my favorite thing. I'm glad you're happy. It's good to see you again. Bye bye. Bye. Bye bye. Hey. You hey, would man. join the army, wouldn't you? Hi there. I'm Horatius. I understand we have you to thank for giving us a second chance at life and reuniting Santilla with us as well. So. Thank you. I'm living up north and studying in the military academy in Modena. I'm going to be an officer one day. The world's changed a lot. But some things stay the same. You got a piece. believe we're still studying military tactics from my time. Alexander the Great, Caesar, Hannibal Barker. Still, I have to keep challenging myself to let go of old ways of thinking and embrace the new. As Seneca wrote, the ones who pioneered our paths aren't our masters. But our guides. They, they got him a Nintendo Switch, yeah. So you never got to see your girl again? Ah, oh, you remembered that. Thank you. I grieved for a time. But that's done. In the words of Epictetus, as those who rode behind triumphant generals remind them they are mortal, remind yourself your precious one isn't one of your possessions, but something given for now. Not forever. Glad you're coping. Thanks. Whatever happened to your buddy Domitius? He's not my... Oh, I see what you did there. Good one. He had more trouble adapting than most. He got himself disqualified from the UFC. So he started some kind of underground blood sport tournament. Like we had in Rome. Suppose it appealed to people's baser instincts. And they say he made some good coin, killing a bunch of men like that. But his luck finally ran out, and his life along with it. You know what they say. Live by the sword, die by the sword. Yeah, I, I appreciate that this game has a non-ironic good ending, because I, I, I'm not a huge fan of games or stories about morality where there's just... But there is, there's no way. There's no way. They were just stuck in hell forever, and there's no way to save them. The, 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 quite, quite the bummer, isn't that? Yes. Hmm. Sucks for them. I hate that. Sounds like he got what he deserved. That's a shame. Hmm. Perhaps. Good to see you again. And you. Farewell. I take it you're the Oracle. Thanks for coming. Good to see you again, Cynthia. Actually, I changed my name to Cynthia. 
I didn't want to be associated with Sentius Evening. after what happened. I'm not Fair. sure if you heard, but after you drove Pluto off, Proserpina emerged from the Great Temple. She knew right away what none of us had figured out about that psychopath. He'd been keeping my little sister locked up in the upper cistern all that time. But he's been dealt with. He's... Uh, you know what? The important thing is, we'll never see him again. N never. Never, never see him again. What are you doing with yourself these days? Anything I want. I'm a woman of means in a vast new world. I can go wherever and do whatever I please. Of course, I mostly just stay in my villa and have my servant Alexa summon things for me. Hmm. Because it's just awful out there. Barbarians everywhere. Hmm. He's still there, all alone. The last golden statue in the underworld. Trapped in a metal shell, slowly losing his mind until the end of time. Why did Sentius get Eternal trapped there? Torment. Just what he deserves, if you ask me. Wait, I don't... Why? I don't understand that. Why did he get an ironic ending? Why would Pluto care at all about giving him an ironic ending? I don't get that. Hold on, chat. I don't get that. Listen, I don't like Sentius, but why would Pluto care? Pluto saw Sentius is following the rules fine. Why in the world would he care about giving him an ironic ending? Yeah, that seems a bit excessive. Meh, I try not to think about him at all. It's just illogical. I don't get that. You too. See you around. Wasn't even Pluto apparently was Persephone? Oh, I see. Persephone, Persephone, uh, golded him. I guess, um, she, she cared more about him being a jerk than Pluto did. Oh, I see. Okay, You're I mean, I guess that makes more sense, but we don't really Oracle, know much right? about her. Like, we didn't get to talk to, to Persephone at all. Oh, of course. Sorry. And I never got a chance to thank you for telling Galerius how to save my life. And of course, getting me and all of us out of a terrible situation. What are you doing with yourself? Oh, I barely recognize myself. I'm living in a house share in London with my wonderful girlfriend. And I'm studying English at university. Eventually, I want to travel the world and write about it. Turns out, it's about 30 times bigger than the Roman Empire ever was. Did you know there are entire continents Rome never knew existed? And you can travel almost anywhere in an aircraft, which is rather like flying on a Pegasus, but much more comfortable. Oh, sorry, you already know all that, of course. I'm just so excited. There's so much to see and learn and write about. Tell you what. Yeah, this game was great. I'm really glad that we, we uh, got through it. Seeing the world through fresh eyes sounds wonderful. I have noticed people from your time have no idea how fortunate they are. I hope to change that one day. Good luck with that. Whatever happened to Maliolus and Claudia? Last I heard, Maliolus kept insisting he was the last rightful ruler of the Roman Empire and wound up being committed to a psychiatric hospital. Mm, that sucks. As for Claudia, she was always so viciously unhappy. Someone says she'd blown all her money on wine, trying to drink herself back to the underworld. Yeah, I will. After the horrific mm. way they treated Ulpius and me, I can't help feeling a sense of... What's that German word? Schadenfreude? I don't agree with some of these endings. I think that they are uh, an unfortunately objective, or at least a subjectively um, kind of like enforcement of, of a, you know, morality from the position of the writer. Like, I understand why we should not like these people, but isn't the whole point of this game that we cannot apply uh, like one moral rule to all of these people though they treated people unfairly I don't think they deserve to be like committed and statued and stuff like they they deserve the same right to to try and grow and be more moral people right poking your brain about morality and what it means to be human black and white character stories are great <laughs> I think you're allowed to feel that way thank you 
You're very kind. What happened to Aurelia? Ugh, someone told me she was boasting about getting her claws into some rich prince, and how she was going to be living the high life from now on. Even in your time, life still isn't fair. Apparently, he'd proposed before they'd even met. And last I heard, she'd bought herself a first-class one-way ticket to join him in some exotic place called... What was it? Hawaii. Nigeria? Oh. Some people have all the luck. Are you telling me that he Nigerian princed her? Something tells me she's going to get what she deserves. Oh, God. Really? Huh. I feel better already. Isn't it Thank great you. how the game has made us think about the ending critically? Yeah, that's fair. You too. If you're ever in London, let me know. We can go to bars and drink wine and listen to the stories of the nine million you know, people who live that's there. a good point, Neville. I'm looking at it from the perspective of the writer, but in all fairness, it's not like these endings couldn't actually happen to these characters. It's that I disagree for them to be uh, enforced upon them. So uh, that's, a, that's a fair point. Thanks for the offer. I'll take you up on that, sure. I hope so. Uh, Lucretia? Hi there. You are here. It's nice to finally meet you. Hello. Lucy is fine. I'm making an effort to blend in, as you can see. We are all trying to keep a low profile. No, the question if is, the chat. world knew we died 2,000 years ago and were suddenly brought back to life 12 months ago, they'd never leave us alone. The question is, speaking chat, how which, are they speaking English now? thank you in person. I'd say the gods smile on you, but I hear you drove the last of them off. So... What are you doing with yourself? I'm studying to get into medical school. That makes sense. As much as I resented the responsibility of keeping everyone in the city alive, when it ended, I realized I missed it. So I guess I'll just keep saving the world, if begrudgingly, one patient at a time. That's good. You too. Okay. Uh, I am kind of running out of time here. I would like to get through these, but I, I'm not going to skip anything. I just might not... Can't do all of these with the same Museum, level of uh not? Yo, you look tan, my friend. Greetings. You must be the legendary to see you? I am Uh thank you for freeing us from Hades. What are you doing with yourself? I am reacquainting myself with Greece. It has changed so much over the last two thousand years, I barely recognize it. This is at once heartbreaking and thrilling. Perhaps one day. Once I have seen all of this new Greece and sampled her delights, I will settle down in Sandorini in a villa overlooking the Azure Aegean Sea. I hope you will join me there and regale me with the story of how you faced off against the fearsome god of the underworld and won. Consider me there. Good to see you. You too, my... Hermit? Greetings. Oh, hey. So, can you tell me your actual name now? I take it you're the oracle everybody's talking about. It's a pleasure to finally meet you. I wouldn't expect you to remember it. We have. I'm sorry, I don't remember. In Hello. any case, okay. I'm Philip. I never thought I'd leave that cave, let alone the city. And now I'm living in the 21st century. What a time to be alive. And it seems I have your catabases to thank for it. What are you doing with yourself? I'm working as a consultant to the Faculty of Classics at Cambridge University, helping fill the odd gap in their knowledge. Not that I need the money, but I do love being around enlightened minds again. Nice. My Good ending for Phillips. Once. Hello. Magnificent Hello. Resume, is it You're not? The one we've been waiting for. I'm Fabia. Two minute papers. I wanted to say thanks for sending Galerius to save my life. Yeah, I mean... Uh, what are you doing with yourself? Well, it's not like I have to work with all the silver Karen gave me, so... I just do what makes me happy. Mostly wow, we got a job, wow. <laughs> ...and looking at memes while binging TV shows in yoga pants. What a time to be alive. In it. Governor. I really am. You. 
Yo, philosopher uh, got a job. Impossible challenge. He completed it. What an absolute lad. Some soiree, isn't it? What a jackass. Ah, oh, hello at last. You must be the. Hi, Desius. Listen, I wanted to express my sincere appreciation for what you did. If it wasn't for you, I'd never been able to sell all those useless old relics I accumulated. Whatever you did in that temple made me a very wealthy man. Thank you. Mm, you're welcome. Most gracious. What are you doing with yourself? I took the money I made from selling my trinkets and started investing in the stock. Yo, he got into crypto. That's where the real money is now. In fact, I was hoping to ask your advice. You being the oracle and future seer and all that, on which stocks I should invest in next. Oh, you I should take all your money and invest in Bitcoin. Tobacco, gambling and arms. What would you recommend? Uh, there should be a third option. Oh, don't be like that. You can tell your old pal days. DVD rentals have a bright future. <laughs> Broadcast, television, print media. These are all lies. DVD rentals, sure. Oh, of course. Yeah, I was just thinking the same thing. I'll go home and buy a... Of course. Don't let me keep you. Oh, you should go and buy an N NFT. They're, Good evening. They're great. Buy one of a, of a, of a monkey. Hello there. Hello. Oh, hello. It's lovely to meet you. Nice to see you. I'm thankful that you're here. I was sure the person who drove off the last pagan god would have more important things to do than visit the likes of us. True. But thank you for coming and for saving our lives. What you did was extraordinary, and I'll never forget it. What are you doing? I'm living in Rome again, in a charming little flat by the Tiber. I'm not far from my old place. Oh, and I'm training to be a... Red box is still above the red line. After you sent Galerius to persuade Ulpius not to take his own life, I was inspired. I just want to spend the rest of my life helping people. I don't remember like the red box him. arc in One Piece. Zagale, I don't... I, what are you talking about? We need to check up on truly important character. Thank you. And you... Goodbye. All right. How's Olivia? Greetings. Thank you for your kind words and for liberating us all. In all the time I was in the underworld, I never once imagined that I might end up in a place so much like Elysium. What are you doing? I'm recovering. Octavia was kind enough to let me stay with her for a while. At least until I'm well enough to be independent again. Is a USA service. <laughs> She's the cuddy cuddy woman. She's the one who was rambling. Reading any good uh, poems. You remember that. I'm a little tired of Ovid, but that's all right. I have 2,000 years worth of poetry to catch up on now. I'm already up to the 19th century. I was going to say you should check out Edgar Allan. And I'm quite enjoying the work of a fellow named Poe. I think I may have found a kindred spirit. Men have called me mad. But the question is not yet settled whether madness is or is not the loftiest intelligence. Perhaps you're right. See ya. And you. Okay. Oh, God, there's still a lot left. Oh, yeah, come back. What is up? Uh, oops. We meet again. Oh, there we go. There's bangs. There you go. Oh, I go by Gabriella now. I didn't want to be reminded of that monster every time I heard my own name. And I wanted to say thanks and no hard feelings for leaving me in that cistern when you did. I know it must have been a difficult decision, but it was the right one. What are you doing? I'm living with Ulpius on a little vineyard in Umbria. It's even more wonderful than I dreamed it would be. I'm so grateful to you for making sure he's still with us. Sorry, I was... If you're ever passing through the region, I hope you'll come and visit us. You can try some of our very own wine. Uh, sure. Thanks. Uh, Minecraft Steve found a friend. <laughs> a roommate. It is an honor to finally... Thanks, Kabash. You know my name. Oh, of course. You are an oracle. You know many things. I too would like to offer my thanks for releasing us from that place. 
and for your role in bringing us here. This world is truly wondrous. What are you doing with yourself? For a time, I returned to Alexandria, but they have no need of another fisherman. And I came to see there is nothing for me there. Instead, I have decided to follow the custom of your youths and backpack the world. It is a great adventure, and I have met many people from many cultures. Dorf Orstris. I spent the first 25 years of my life avoiding the 42 sins that would deny me access to the afterlife. Now, I think it is time I had some fun. Sounds like you've earned it. Indeed. Thank you. I like Kabash. He, his uh, his uh, role is very short-lived, but I like him. He's a good character. It's nice to finally put a face to the name. I'm Opius. I understand I have you to thank for sending Galerius to save my life. The way you just showed up out of the blue and stopped me from making a terrible mistake. I'll be forever in your debt. Uh, bad choice of words. I'm living with Gabriella in Umbria. We finally bought the little vineyard we always dreamed of. It'll be a little while before we know what we're doing, but... Every day I look at her, and this extraordinary new world with all its beauty, and... I think... What if I'd given up hope? Missed out on all of this. So we're living each day to the fullest. And we end them all the same way, sitting together on our terrace with a glass of our wine, which the locals say is almost drinkable now, and watching the sunset over the rolling hillside. And I couldn't be happier. Your cavern gate can finally come to a close. Thank you. <laughs> I wouldn't be here without you. You too. No hey. way. Hello. No, I don't believe it. It's so nice to finally meet you. I've heard so much about you. I wanted to thank you personally for getting us out of there. And for helping Rufus come to terms with himself. He may come off a little gruff, but once you get past that, he's a lovely fellow. No way. Okay, who had Rufus on their bingo card? Didn't see that one coming. What are you doing with yourself these days? I'm studying to be an architect again and living with Rufus in our beautiful flat in Rotterdam, just down the river from Nijmegen, where I grew up. Of course, it's improved immensely since I was there last. Gleaming futuristic buildings and clean streets full of educated, accepting people. You natives of the 21st century have no idea how fortunate you are. Seems like Rufus had a heart of gold. Makes makes sense why Minecraft Steve ended up with him. It's good to see you again. You too. If you're ever in the Netherlands, we'd love to show you around. It's the least we could do. Oh, it says I knew Rufus was too much of a hard ass. Hey, Rufus. Nice to meet you. you good to see you too, I Rufus. Rufus now. New start. New name. Oh, and, uh, thanks, by the way, for what you did. Sorry, I'm no good with the mushy stuff. What are you doing? I live with Virgil in Rotterdam, not far from where he grew up. It's very modern. Destroyed in the war, and it rebuilt itself. Good place for a fresh start. I haven't decided what I'm going to do with my life yet. Hmm. One adjustment Gold is at a time. the trash material. Maybe he went after them diamond buns. There you go. Huh. Good to know. Anyway, it was good practice for the new world. Security cameras and smartphones everywhere. Got to stay vigilant. That is unfortunately true. Mm. You too. Okay. I think that's it. The only one I can imagine that I get to talk to is maybe Persephone, but I don't think... I don't think I'll get to. Who's this? 
Ow. Ow. There you are. I hope you enjoyed that. Now, there's one more person I wanted to introduce you to. I think you know her. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Sorry if I frightened you. Just a little joke I've been saving for a long, long time. I recognize that voice. Allow me to introduce myself properly. I am Proserpina, former goddess of the cycle of life and renewal. Now, a regular mortal. I wanted to meet you in person. And thank you for freeing all these people. And me. I hate to think what would have happened to us without your intervention. You were whispering to me all along. Indeed. Suffice it to say that while Pluto was controlling the eyes and ears of each golden statue, I was able to control their tongues and whisper to you when he was distracted. I am sorry my messages were so cryptic. There were only ever brief windows in which I could speak to you without being detected. You did what you could, thank you. Well, you created the time loop. I did. I may have given up my immortality, but I still retain my gifts as the goddess of the cycle of life and renewal. After Phew. witnessing Pluto punish countless poor souls over thousands of years, I knew this generation, the final wave, would not survive. So I tried to give them a way to buy more time. A second chance. Rather, as many second chances as they needed to avoid his wrath. So I whispered to Sentius in secret, telling him the prayer required to create a portal in my shrine. I knew the danger of humans being corrupted by godly power, and so I put a safeguard in place. I required the creator of the portal to sacrifice their own life, so that it could only be used selflessly to help others. What I did not anticipate is that Sentius would retain his accumulated memories from each previous day, and as a veteran soldier, he had long since shed his fear of death. He quickly discovered that he could, in effect, prolong his own life indefinitely by exploiting the cycle. Of course, once I had taught him the prayer, I could not unteach him. And there was little I could do but wait for someone like you to come along and see him for what he was. We were all fortunate you came along when you did. I became a Pluto. I don't know what happened to him. I haven't heard from him. And I rather hope it stays that way. What became of Charon? Oh, she inherited dominion over the underworld. Last time we spoke, she was working on a new world of some kind. She wouldn't say what it was. But I'd be surprised if you don't run into her again. I imagine we all will. One day. Fun. And you. Although it feels like I've known you forever. Oh, and one last thing. Do you remember all those golden statues scattered throughout the city? Of course. Good. Because they remember you. Well done, my friend. Of all the heroes who ever journeyed to the underworld in return, none came close to achieving what you did. Hercules, uh. Orpheus, Theseus, and Aeneas would be proud. Fun. Apparently, this is the canon ending. Ending four of four. Uh, so there's three other endings. Fun. Cute. I'm generally very bad at um, uh, achieving good endings, so nice. That's a good ending. That is a good, good ending. Other endings aren't important. Okay. Um, I'm going to have to cut it real short, guys. I've ran very late, and... Uh, we hope you enjoyed. I did enjoy this. This was a great game, and uh, I'm glad... We all got to see the ending. One of the best epilogues ever. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, next week, we'll I'll vote for a new game. It's going to be between Spirit Fairer, Chicken Police, and maybe a couple of other games, a couple of other options. But um, thanks very much for hanging out for the, the ending of Forgotten City. This was really good. It's one of those kind of games that you can only play once for the first time. Really excellently done. Very grateful to uh, get to play that one. Thank you also, chat, for the help. I don't think I would have gotten it, gotten that ending if uh, Faust, or actually all of chat didn't basically yell it at me uh, to go and tell, tell Galley to go and uh, give everyone the stuff. 
that was such an obvious solution and it's i, I love uh puzzles like that because it's like obvious solution when you see it um but it's you know working it out is actually you know takes a takes a bit of figuring out <laughs>